I'm on the wrong screen. There we go. Good evening. It is Sunday, April 26th, 2020. The time is 10.02 p.m. My name is Dakaris Vaco. Ah, hey yo. All right, we are playing some D&D &D with the crew. I get my stuff together. Where are we meeting? Imagine Discord or Steamage. Big pile of Steamage. Where where am I? Oh. There I am. <laughs> uh stupid transition screen always forget to move out of it. Anywho's Um Where are we meeting at? Are we meeting over Discord or Steam? That's what I want to know. Discord. All right. Hey -o. Greetings. Greetings to you, sir. Hmm. Gonna find sites we're supposed to be going to. That would be helpful. Is there's one. One is what? Roll twenty. Oh shit! I want me to sign in again. Why does this place always make me sign in? Uh, what, 20? Yeah. Uh, Dude, I literally... Make sure... Are you? Anybody got any new pictures of their wiener? You already got through my other ones? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Blur not coming up. <laughs> Anybody can help me out here? Anybody? What do you want? Huh? What do you need? Greens up, but it's all chopified. Oh wait, I gotta kill this off. Hold on. Huh. Are you using uh whatever that face plug-in thing is? No. <laughs> Wait a second. Did you really just stick your tongue out? No. <laughs> it's like a button you can put. <laughs> oh my god. So stupid. What is it called? Face lab or something like that? Face rig. I bought it and then returned it. Because <clears throat> I'm like, everybody uses that, that little fucking dog. I don't want to play with that. <laughs> I don't know, I find it funny. There's a thing you can do, though, that, like, I can't get it back on the screen now, though. Where you can, like, control... <clears throat> there we go, maybe it's this? Where you can control your bloodlust? Yes. I can't control mine. No, you should be able to... There's, like, a thing where you can control certain parts of it. Why am I, like, not centered on this camera? How do I get that back? Any, any idea how I fix my webcam, where I'm not, like, half my face? I mean, your camera looks fine on... Okay, so it's not just... You look great. Okay. Yeah, on my end, half my face. Okay. No, you guys look great on my end. I gotta you, fix this because it might, it might be if you have a uh, smaller avatar sizes or video sizes. Click on the gear on the top right. No, I there should be gear on the to top right. Oh yeah, I'm already in the thing. Are you, do you have large on? Where, where do you see that? Uh, it's under player video slash avatar size. Find it. 
I can see that you guys, but I see myself as half of a person. Well, that's because you're large. You guys look great. <clears throat> Mine's set for regular. Let me try. That large just made him larger, but it didn't change. Yeah, how so I they, look. Like, Garth, but I'm assuming he looks halved on his end. What are yeah. you using, um, Mortimer? What are you using to capture your screen? Uh, I'm using the display capture. Okay. There we go. That's that's what you want from a Velociraptor, just a big long ass tongue like that. <laughs> oh, the things you yeah, do with that tongue. Tell me. Tell me all of them. Oh man. This is stupid. Uh hmm. Enough of that. Well, do that. Improve that in. one. There we go. Well, now, my, now mine's even worse. Doctor Wilson. There we go. Uh, hmm. You look so great on my end. Yeah, I know. It's apparently to ever like. Are you viewing yourself on yours? Try, try yeah. pushing the reconnect button. I did. I did the same, it's the same thing. Huh. Hmm. I mean, I can I can show you what it looks like on. Oh no, well, I, 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 I believe you. you but I can just move stuff around. It's just stupid. Yeah, that's the thing that's weird. Like I look fine uh, on Mort's side, if I can see through the stream. But then on my side, I'm half of a face. Oh shit! Like if I move my actual camera over, it makes it even. It's not even right. It's like it's got like a black border on the left side of my screen. It's not even part of my. Yeah. Try refreshing. I did. Did the same thing. Try refreshing again. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks. Turn it off and then on again. That's the only option I have. All right, well, I'm gonna try it. Switch your video input to a different video input. I've only got one camera. Oh. <laughs> well, get another camera. Is that better? Yeah, no. same thing. I don't know. Got like a black bar. Did I hear like my hand cuts off right here? Yeah, yeah same. Yeah. Last year. There's some weird plugin issue going on on their end. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. There is. If you look in the bottom left corner of your little window, right click on it, there's a thing that says uh, reset player. Okay. Wait, hold on. I just found it. What are you talking I about? I just found it. It just disappeared on me. Oh, there we go. Um, all right, look on my screen. See how there's uh, where I just okay. right-clicked on Alcades's uh, name? I'm, there's I'm a button that says here. Reset Player. Hey, one second. I gotta get on your screen. <laughs> I, I right-clicked in the gray area of his name and hit Reset Player. No, I think didn't that... work. No, it didn't. Okay. All. See, like, when I look at your screen, I'm a lot narrower. So... Oh, shit. How do I? Can I reconnect myself? I can reconnect myself. No, I can just reconnect me. I don't know. I didn't know. Fine, you probably don't want to look at yourself anyways, right? Well, I have to I have mean... it for my stream. Right, well, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stream and I'm not going to be on it. <laughs> hold on, on yours? Hold on, let me jump on over here. I did not see what you're talking about. Myself. This is not the best, but it'll work for now. Oh, I'll have to figure out something yeah, else. Like, see, like, here. the screen stops right here. There's this big black bar right here. Yeah, but... <laughs> right here. <laughs> In fact, I even have stuff over here. Like, if I look at my camera's actual live view, I still have... Mine goes, like, way over still. Wonder if I can try this. Maybe, maybe I can fool it. Nope. Really not. Huh. I wonder why yours is doing that. That's so weird. I know Katie's looks great on both of ours too, but I guess he doesn't look right on his. Yeah, no. How oh, weird. Uh, Google. <laughs> there he is. There's that guy.
Anything oh, else God. on here? That like, even if I were, like move over my chair, like we, like if I go way over here, it still cuts off my yeah. my stuff. <laughs> How weird. I want to close. I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna hear Jumanji drums in the back. Oh, sorry, that was me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's called the medication starting <laughs> to work. Daddy needs to get some refill juice. You saw a picture of what? What did you see a picture of, Splatty? Oh, that is so annoying. I mean, I'll just be like on the left side of my desk, I guess. Still not quite fair. Oh, you mean? Okay, apparently. You. What's that? The whole video thing because i looked it up and it, uh -huh. so someone made a post about it three days ago so i think it's a recent issue all right with no solution that i can find so far oh nice or wolf well can i hide myself on this thing and put me somewhere else on it let's see all right, I'm gonna go grab beer. I'll be right back. Ah. Put mine behind somebody else. Just reset. I see that. Man, I had all the screens right where I wanted them to. Okay. Gosh, thanks. Well, it doesn't work that way. Freaked out. All went black, and all I could see was my nose. <laughs> Oh, I can't get more. I'm gonna come back on. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, it seems like they're jumping all over the fucking place. You're totally not centered now on my end. Great. Never mind. I was looking at your stream again. No, on my stream, you look great. Going to overlay my own camera of that. And so we will Splatty, that joke is terrible. It's terrible and racist. I mean, is it worse than the jokes uh, I have told? Um... No. <laughs> you know, I once got a joke. I needed the dough. You do what with who with what? I once got a job at the dough. I mean, but the building burned down, so the business was toast. God, I can't hear anything. Yeah, I keep breaking up. You broke oh. up too bad. I missed the whole goddamn joke. I feel like I missed out on everything. All right, Splatty. Good night, you big silly boy. Yeah, by the way, ignore the things popping up in <laughs> chat.
me clicking What's through that? things. The stuff on the right, that's me clicking through things to read through them and all that. Oh, you're good. We got nothing but time at the moment. Moving, but I can't make out the words. What in the hell is going on? In Discord, buddy. What? We have self muted in Discord. I have myself muted we... in Discord? No, I did. No, Flip oh. was. Should we switch to Steam chat or is Discord acting okay? I mean, it's fine on my end. I'm fine with Discord. Yeah, I'm alright with Discord. Uh, ban you. I'm gonna ban you for being able to talk. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to get muted. <laughs> All right, last time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, what happened? Oh, guys, I'm setting up a computer. Room. There's the man. The man, the myth, the legend. Billy Numerous. So, I'm pretty sure I did it correctly, but did my character import to the game? Um, I can tell you in... A second here. Da, 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 my campaigns. Can't wait for those. No, I characters. still don't have your character in the campaign. What the hell? I sent you. I sent you a second link because the first link I sent you was bunk in Twitch chat. Um, okay. Give me one moment, and I could just. I remember what it was. I'll just fly through it pretty quickly. <laughs> Well, no, it it should be the the character should still be saved under D and D Beyond. You just need to assign it to the campaign. So if you click on that link, it'll just add it to the 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 list. That that's all I need. As far as the it goes. Uh, last time on Dragon Ball Z, Mort and Karis met Mona outside of a call uh, cottage, which was this cottage. And then they got a quest from an old lady who lived in the cottage to go scare away some young folk who were stealing fruit from her orchard. You guys went and spoke with the young folk who seemed pretty nice and said they believed the fruit was available to anyone who tended the field. And then you returned to the old lady and said, oh, would you mind making a deal with these young folk? And she's like, oh, OK. And then you guys went back to the young folk and then you didn't tell her about like you didn't tell them about the old lady. But they spoke to you about Harold, who was the old farmer dude who you know, actually was out there harvesting the field. And then you went back and Mort tried to give the old lady a hug. And it turns out she was actually <laughs> a terrible old hag who had killed Harold and his wife, who is to be forever unnamed. Uh, <laughs> and you vanquished her and recovered a special magical artifact called an immovable rod, which is a rod that uh, can't be moved because that's how things work. And now you have taken over the cottage as a temporary base. <laughs> Does that sound about right? That sounds about right to me. Hey, okay, did you happen to see the chat? I did. What? What's going on in the chat? Oh, yeah. I fucking warned you. I warned you about fucking around. <laughs> what happened? He doesn't like my... I timed it. I timed him out. <laughs> <laughs> Was, who'd you time out? I remod you. Okay. I'm he's... Like, I'm oh, like I'm tired of his fucking well, jokes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> yes. That's how I started. Spot on. Great. Great. Got the part where I did not find my wolves uh, in the last game. That were found. 
no, every he bush did not could find be. The... be a wolf. You released about, you know, five miles away, and I've probably just rejoined the wolf population. Runners, I mean, they could have easily gotten to this. Hey, I don't want to go there again. We wasted a lot of time <laughs> with the wolves last time. We'll move on. I'll allow it. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's take a look at the campaign now. Wolf. Hey, Wolf is in there. Wolf's only level one, though, so... Uh, You're saying I found my wolves? Squishy no. wolf. We were talking about... Oh, should I just call him Cryptic, then? Cryptic? Better? <laughs> yeah, because you're toying you with my heart now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cryptic. I said we'd call him Wolf. I, th <laughs> I don't know if I gave Cryptic the... the link to join Roll20, so I'm going to do that. So how do we input our characters? There we go. Uh, Cryptic, you have a... Uh, what what web browser are you using? Chrome. That's the best one. Cool. So you will need to join. Is it the 20. best browser? Yeah, it, it's the best browser. I prefer one browser. anyone who says anyone who says otherwise can suck a dick. Uh, what about your <laughs> seven? So I sent you the Roll20 link so you can join the campaign, and I sent you the Beyond20 app, which is the connective tissue that joins Beyond20, or I'm sorry, Roll20 with D&D Beyond. Connective tissue, is... eh? Yes. Holy crap, wait, what? All right, so... I sent you on Steam two, two right. links. One is the Roll20 uh, campaign, so you should join that Roll20 campaign. And then the second is a link for Beyond 20, which is a Chrome extension that will allow you to roll things in D&D Beyond, and then they will show up on the Roll20 uh, app. Oh, dope. Yeah, it's dope. <laughs> so it looks like if Dark stubs his toe, he dies. Uh, That's green is not his health. What is green? I don't remember what... Oh, no, green is his health. But you guys should all, um, well, not all, Dakaris and Mort, you should update your HP because you gained a level. So you, you're going to have a different HP now. Um, I'm not sure what the 8 out of 0 is on that. So we'll go ahead and remove that. How, how, does, I, how does I correct HP? Uh, you click on your token so that that little uh, radial menu shows up. You click on the gear. And then you can change your maximum HP there. The green bar is HP. What do we change it to? Uh, to your whatever 14. your HP is. Well, your max HP was 14, but your new max HP is going to be different because you leveled up. So your new max HP is 20. It was 31. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I'm on edit token. I don't see anything so, here, but... Huh. So you're on edit token, so you should see one that's like a green dot, and it says bar 1, and you have 1 out of 14, right? Uh, I see a heart bar 1, but it's not green. Does it say 1 out of 14? Yeah. Okay, so change that to say 20 out of 20. 20 so that's out of 20. New H that's your new HP. All the HP. Boy, I wasn't and... so fleshy. Mort's new HP is 31, so he's taking care of that. Great. What's this 13 out of 10? Or 2? Uh, well, it's now 10 out of 10. That's your AC. That's your armor class. Alright. Which stands for ACK. ACK! Which should actually change to 13 plus your dex modifier, so it should actually be 13, kind of. I'm going to change it to 13. I'm going to assume from now on that you're casting Mage Armor whenever you don't have Mage Armor up, okay. which Mage Armor changes your your AC to 13, and I believe it can be Ritual Cast. Let me just make sure. Mage Armor. Okay. Thank you, Ritual Cast. Still <laughs> Getting blowjobs. No, it can't. 
So actually, I won't assume that it's that. If you want to cast Mage Armor, you should do so before you think there's going to be a combat. So remember that, because that'll give you, you know, an extra 15% chance of not being hit, which is pretty good. <laughs> All right. So next, uh, let's see. I may have here. just removed an item on accident. Well, I hope you didn't need it. <laughs> As I was going through it, I was like, I'm supposed to have an arcane focus, and I had the wand on instead, so I was going to switch that, and it's like, no, it's just gone. It's like, okay. Your your arcane focus, your arcane focus really doesn't matter all that much. I don't pay attention to that very much at all. Um, I'm also going to just up your level to two. Oh, wand does start. Because you were supposed to start at level two. I did put it to. Uh, what do you want your fighting style to be? Defense, dueling, great weapon fighting, or protection? I'm assuming this is directed to someone else. Is it? I'm level two already, so. What's your character's level name? Level one, something's wrong. Melanthia? Oh, I don't know who this is then. You're adding you... some random person and thinking it's me. I got it. Yep, I got confused. <laughs> that means you're. That means you're still not in there then. Mother trucker. It better not be Flynn. No, it's hopefully not Flynn. Flynn's back from the dead. The fucking better not be. Mike Hendo. I can't wait for Flynn to be the final boss. <laughs> oh my god, how funny <laughs> would that be? <clears throat> yeah, I'd already selected to join with this character. Um, what's your, you said your character's name was what? Nilinthia. Oh, oh no! You're you're fine. I'm I'm thinking wolf. Who's wolf? Not me. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're you're cobblefoot, right? Cobblefoot, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you you weren't level two, so I set you to level two. Okay. So what do you want your fighting style to be? You have a choice oh. of defense, dueling, great weapon fighting, or protection. Yes, you're welcome. Oh. Um, what are my choices? Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, you can you can go to your character sheet and change it yourself, but it's defense, dueling, great weapon fighting, or protection. What? Great weapon fighting. Great weapon uh, fighting. Gotcha. Do I need to have both roll twenty and D twenty? That's correct. Yes, sir. Dakaris, check this out. I already showed everybody else. These are mushrooms that Desi was growing <clears throat> for the last two weeks. Cool. They're fucking delicious. Yeah. All right. And the last thing I need from uh, Wolf is a character portrait. So if you can send me in Discord the uh, character portrait you'd like to use, I can quickly get that ready for you and put All it right. in. In the meantime, uh, it's raining outside. Boosh. Rain sounds. Uh, well, no, it, it, it was bright and sunny the other day, but it's raining now when you guys wake up this morning. And there is a traveler traveling around. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Like this. It's been since the last. It's been one day. So last okay. night, or, or or last afternoon, you guys destroyed the hag, and then you spent the rest of the day tidying tidying up, probably uh, stealing all of the apricot jam, and uh, just gorging yourselves on that for no reason. Sustenance. I'm just saying, like, there's still like blood and guts and shit all over the yard in front of the house, right? Oh, they're gonna turn it. Yeah, into you rabbits. spent yesterday clean, cleaning that up. Um, I mean, you still haven't really buried. The corpse over here you just kind of threw Floating it into in the, the bushes. Yeah. Okay. You know that that was a. You, you guys are too tired for that. Uh, let's see here. Seventeen. Seventeen. Twelve and twelve. There we go. So this traveler is is uh you know walking outside. And then it starts to rain and 
thunder really badly, and she rushes up to your door and starts knocking on your door. Guys, I'll get it. The group, as your paladin, I feel it's my duty to answer this door. He said duty. <laughs> I said duty. Is that what you say when you open the door? Duty. Swing the door open, and I'm still laughing because I said duty. All right, Asheron, that's you. I would... You can move your character now. Yep. Well, I would greet the paladin before me, although taking note of any generic appearances as I walked in, in case there are any of the body parts or anything still strewn about, not having known what was here before I got here. Though not particularly reacting to... Getting past to me through this doorway is going to be kind of tough. I'm like 6'9", 200. Oh, no, no, I, th I was saying in the yard. I didn't say anything for inside. Oh, okay. So if there's nothing in the yard, that would be, you know, obvious enough. No, there's nothing notice. ordinary about this pal. Yeah, no, there, there is there is a body that's over here, but it's it's in the in the pouring rain that's coming down. It's kind of hidden. <laughs> Probably can't nice. really see it. Yeah. Uh, so I would just uh, say, I would say good day, sir, but as it is not a good day, it is rather wet out here, I would kind of ask to come in. Do I go to fart joke? As I have not heard one recently, I would be down to listen to one. What is up, Mega Oh my god. Okay. You're gonna love it here. Come on in, we're making some sort of weird green soup. The We totally didn't kill a witch that was already making it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Guys. interesting. I at least watch. <laughs> oh, I can see by your name tag that your name is Lilinthia. It's really nice of you to wear a name tag. It makes it easy, doesn't it? <laughs> she just came in from a convention. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> a furry convention. Got tired of people asking my name, so I just scrawled down a How piece of parchment and put it on my chest. Yeah. <laughs> We're just sitting here playing a little bit about um, D and D. Real quick, before we get back to our conversation, you haven't seen any wolves while you were coming up to the cottage, have you? I lost I did a couple not of wolves, any wolves a few days ago. I have not right, spoken to any wolves in a fair while. Spoken to wolves? Indeed. Wolves. Indeed. I may speak <clears throat> with animals. Wait. You can speak with animals? Holy crap, we got a animal speaker? Yep, you have an animal speaker. Hey, <laughs> you guys gotta come out, check this out, we got an animal speaker. Some sort of wolf whisperer. I am the cryptic whisperer. Uh, I, <laughs> how, I, I literally just shouted through the house to get you guys out of your rooms, and neither one of you will wake up. It's, I, mean, uh -huh. I guess they're heavy sleepers. I think I, I did the I heard the car is a heavy sleeper. I, I am a heavy sleeper. The, I'm uh, let him sleep. The roof can blow off sleep. in the pouring rain, and uh, I will still sleep through it sleep because <clears throat> I've seen the way this movie ends. Two chicks, one big dude. Uh, nothing bad's gonna happen here. So... <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm sorry. You see a black leather couch in the corner. <laughs> There's some see? sort of recording stone set up. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start it. We're kind of all just standing around here awkwardly in the kitchen at the moment. So, uh, um, are you okay? I mean, you were kind of hauling ass up to the door there. I get that it was raining, but are you all right? Physically, I'm doing pretty well. Although, I'm kind of just on the road and trying to discover myself at this time. So, in a way, I am well. In a way, I am not. <sighs> Well, Hello. we gotta check with Sakura since he's the leader of the group. <laughs> uh, since I'm now in a new room and looking about, would I roll perception to see what all I would see up on here? Uh, 
yeah, if you want to roll perception, that's fine. So with roll 20, how it works is you just click on the uh, the skill, and then on the, as long as you have the extension installed, there should be like a beyond 20 button. And if you click on that, it'll roll in. Sounds like you found it. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Might have been clicking things all here. That's all the charm persons in chat. <laughs> Okay, great. Uh, so with a 15, uh, you see a pretty modestly well-kept kitchen. However, there's a thick layer of dust on everything but this table here in the center. Um, you don't know this, but for Mort and Karis, they uh, and Mona, they know that uh, the previous occupants of this uh, particular kitchen have been dead for... A few weeks now and no one's really been keeping that clean there was a sort of spell on it when a hag was um occupying this domicile that uh, she made it look like things were clean but she didn't actually clean herself because that would be too demeaning to her as a hag and they haven't really gotten around to cleaning that they were more focused on getting the blood stains out of the grass <laughs> in the front yard <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> So it's kind of dusty in here, and it looks kind of ill-kept, from what you can tell. Gotcha. So I'd probably ask Mona if they're new to the area, since it's looking rather unkempt in this area. Well, we kind of commandeered the house. Praise kill us. Hey, Mega, Mega Butts Master, can you hear me all right? The person in Discord is talking. I haven't seen you uh, respond uh, at all. Okay. How's it going on your okay, end? There you go. Sorry, you're just very quiet. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. Uh, came here, uh, rock and roll, a big guy that came here earlier. Gave an uh, old goodies. lady a hug. <laughs> and she tried to kill us. Stole her house. Don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah, if you want, you can find her buried in the front yard. <laughs> I might wait until it stops raining before I go digging up corpses. You could find a bird in the front yard. Yeah. Who's that voice from beyond? God. And it's a phantom. It's the old lady back. Oh, I went. <laughs> I was gonna try to wake you up, but I fell asleep. So you guys are kind of on your own out there for the moment. Hey, well, if you should be able to get your uh, video to work in uh, in the D and D campaign i see you got it working in uh discord Ooh, so i'm gonna stop it in discord and switch it over to okay. so uh, dakaris you you are you awake now when rock I'll and roller shows up and just smacks you in the face a bit i'll take potent potables for 500 trebek <laughs> oh no not robert uh, again <laughs> <laughs> this type of salt has a very pungent odor <laughs> <laughs> what is not rock and roll? <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you awake, Dakaris? Oh, I am. I am ripped, roared, and ready to go. All right, are you heading out to the hmm. kitchen there? I'm gonna wake you up because we've got somebody that showed up here. Sure. <clears throat> knock, knock, knocking on our chamber door, and. All right. uh, I just wanted you to assess the situation with your wizardly skills. So, Dakaris, you walk out and you see another tiefling, which is surprising. You, your your kind is kind of rare. Uh, Lolinthia is a tiefling. There can only be one. There can only be one. Firebolt! <laughs> Wizard versus warlock. Fight. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right. So you guys can talk for a second. I'm still trying to set up a uh, wolf's character here. The picture that he sent was not the best. So it's taking a little while to... I'm sorry. It's fine. <laughs> like, it looked like it had transparency, and I pasted it in, and then it turns out that the background wasn't transparent. It was just, like, it's alternating gray and white blocks. <laughs> I will be drinking my morning brew of whiskey and soda, as most do, right? I'll drink my morning brew of Wait. half water. <laughs> Close enough. Good morning, what is this? You know it's morning somewhere. 
<laughs> uh, well, if rules. you click on Red the ball. gear on the top right, you should have an option for display name. It should be like the first thing. You can change that to cryptic or wolf. Or if you want to put it your character's name, Boromir, that would be helpful too. Can it be wiggity whack? I mean, you can, but it'd be more helpful if it was either your name or your character's name. So I would whack. appreciate it. Don't if pull you Mortimer. That. <laughs> well, Mortimer's name is Mortimer in the game. He just goes by Rock and Rolla because oh. same reasons. All good paladins need a nickname. <laughs> this is just cryptic. All right. So anyway, Dukaris, I wanted you to come out and meet Lilinthia, who's now asleep on the floor. Huh? <clears throat> Go ahead and wake her up a little bit, um, because. Uh, she came knocking on the door uh, while I was having my morning jog around the dining table, and I figured Mona's already said hi. They seem to be getting along, and women hate each other. But I figured you two should probably meet because you guys are like the same, you know, species or some shit. So, <laughs> you know, take it away. Uh, we're still meeting in the kitchen. Yep, that's where you currently are. Roll to talk to girl. I don't know. Look, look underneath you. Does that look like a kitchen to you? Oh shit! I just, I just lost myself. He's now, he's now standing <laughs> on Mona. <laughs> All right, so you're standing on Mona's shoulders. <laughs> you guys erected some sort of totem tower <laughs> for intimidation <laughs> purposes. And you're just, and you're just chanting at Lilinthia, saying Mekachiva, Mekachiva. Uh. <laughs> Uh, hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm under Mona again. <laughs> oh, that's true. I guess Mona is the one on top. <laughs> well, at least I'm the one on top. <sighs> well, yeah, but he's a power bottom, so. That'll be three again. While that's oh. happening, you that have another knock at the you. door. <laughs> You guys get the fuck off of each other because somebody's <laughs> knocking on the door again and we can't have these sorts of shenanigans. I'll go check the door. <clears throat> I'm gonna go see what the heck this green stuff is in the pot. <laughs> it's probably apricot jam. <sighs> Alright, I swing the door oh, open. Sorry, <laughs> and I say, listen, about 15 minutes ago I said duty. That was hysterical. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think you were in earshot, but I'm gonna say it again. Duty. Uh, what's your reaction to that, uh... B Boromir, your name tag says Boromir because your B is backwards. Is it a backwards B? It doesn't look like a backwards B to me. Oh, I have a reading disability, um... Which is one of my... <laughs> which is one of my stat perks. <laughs> what, uh, well, come, come in, it's... It's what is shit out there. Come on in. Come into the kitchen. Um, I can treat you to some. Goo. You just opened the door and you said Boromir. Um, I I'm looking for my granny, but I don't think this is the house due to the due to the the pile that's left in the garden over on my oh, left hand I got side. Some bad news for you, Boromir. <laughs> no matter who you were looking for in this house, they're all dead. We got a dead lady in the garden. There's a couple of dead folks in the shed out back. Whoever it was, they're dead. And listen, I'm not very compassionate. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure somebody in this crew is. It's not me. Dim's Peoples is dead, y'all. Yeah, roll compassion. Okay, I guess I'll, you do, okay? I'll, I'll just uh, <laughs> step on in. And... What so was I'll... your... what? Yeah, just... Uh, cryptic, what was your grandma's name? My grandma's name? Yeah. Um, her name was uh, Valerie Cobblefoot. <laughs> <laughs> And I assume his, uh, 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 her husband's name was uh, Harold Cobblefoot. Okay, you you have some bad news to tell uh, to tell Boromir. Here. <laughs> uh, well, I'm Perfect. sorry, little uh, Hobbit. I'm a halfling. halfling. Yes, a Hobbit. Anyway, I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, I think your grandparents might be dead. Starting she was a, rather a bitch, so it's okay. Starting racial <laughs> slurs right out the door. 
coming out swinging with that. As Tap long as you up. don't say, as long as you don't say Nebraska, we're okay. <laughs> the Nebraska, we're right here. Well, listen, I want to reiterate a little bit on what Mona just said. They're they're most definitely fucking dead. If you follow me out to the shed over here, there is a couple of dead people out there, which I guarantee are your grandparents. Oh, that's her skeleton. I'd recognize oh. it anywhere. Huh? Yeah, that's two feet tall. That's them. <laughs> they're <dumb and> shit. <laughs> they're all bloody. <laughs> well, well, they're the only halflings in this area. <laughs> Listen, I'm going back inside though. It's raining. I'm so sorry for your loss. It's... Oh, yeah. We normally have short lives. Us. Hundreds of years, but it's pretty short for us. <laughs> he right. makes short jokes. This one we gotta keep. <laughs> Decorus, can we keep him? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, he, makes, he makes a joke. It's like, oh, I'm making a joke. Get out of the park. Yeah, your jokes are terrible. You just gotta make sure you clean up after him. Aww. Am I gonna have to rub your nose well, in it? The last one I cleaned up from, I put in the garden, and she's dead, and she was a witch, and I killed her. <laughs> the last thing she had, he let go in the forest, and they've never come back. I don't want to fucking talk about the wolves anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> we'll fight more. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> but I thought you were All sleeping right. on the table. Go. So it's still raining and thundering outside. Um, I don't know if you would like to fill in the newcomers on what's been going on. Uh, obviously, you've showed them their apparently dead grandfather <laughs> and grandmother. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you want to explain what happened exactly, or if you're just going to leave it at they're dead. Mama, papa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly going to be outside that. just Are you going to give them a proper burial? <laughs> can I? Yeah, you can. Of They're course. chained up in there. It's right. fine. Um, I mean, he's got enough time he can probably free them. Yeah, can I can I free them and just burn the bond, the bones, the bodies? I'll bring the marshmallows. Sure. <laughs> the marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got some so, they don't that exist anymore. They're, they're not. They're not there. There's a little bonfire in the backyard here. Did they eat for themselves? I, <laughs> I know the trees. I'm gonna take some of the ash and come inside and rub it on you guys' forehead. You guys don't quite know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> like a phasing. Thank you for looking after my grandparents. Oh now man! Now you are. Now you are one with them. <laughs> Cars, this is midget tradition. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as a reminder, last time you guys also spoke with some young folks who were hanging around. Uh, they mentioned that there were goblins in the area. Um, other than that, you can always try to head back to town again, the town you originally came from, or you can... I, I don't know why you would, but you can try and head back to the uh, the new uh, new found land place where you know you were supposed to deliver a quest in the very first session, but then decided that no, that person's better left for dead. There was a lot going on in that cave, and I thought that everybody was better off dead. In there. Yep. Well, first, <laughs> first I think we should go back and survive goblins. <clears throat> What was that okay? Yeah. You want to go back and do what? See if the up attack. They seem like some stand up. Um. So talk to the talk to the, you the young folks. The people again? by the river. Yeah. Maybe get some more apricot, kumquat, whatever. Morning it's right now. Is it still raining? Uh, it's still raining as of right now. But if you guys want to head out as a party, then you can. Um, I don't know if Lalinthia and Boromir are going to... Lalinthia, <clears throat> we're the motliest crew you're ever going to encounter out in this silly old world. And gosh, if life ain't so short, then we should just stick together, hang out, start a gang, West Side Story style, we can do snapping, choreograph dancing, and who knows, maybe even kick an ass or two. Will you guys take our hands? 
in a holy match, or I mean, holy team. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I feel like I probably should, since you got dead people on your forehead. No big deal. Yeah, I'll come with you. Why not? I'm just eh. saying. Life's boring if you don't make interesting choices. Tomorrow. Sure. I, I, I guess wait, I got uh, a small amount of time. <laughs> By the way, uh, Cryptic, if you can... To curse, are you hearing this? I love this mission. <laughs> halfling. I'm a halfling? I Cryptic, you can go ahead pattern. and gain an inspiration. Um, you made my job a lot easier with introducing yourself to the party with just attaching yourself to these people, like uh -huh. the, the grandma and stuff. So I, I appreciate that. Yeah. How the hell do I do that? <laughs> So on your character sheet, next to your walking speed, there is a box that says inspiration. If you click on that box, it'll put a little like symbol in it that looks like a sunrise. Yes. I wish I was so cool. I just have initiative. Uh, it's right. So it's a, uh, above initiative and then two to the right. It says inspiration. I have defenses oh. and condition. Oh, uh, right above no, no. defenses. Cool. So it's what inspiration highlighted. does is if uh, inspiration is given out by the dungeon master, which is me, and what it essentially is is it allows you to one time use it in order to get advantage on a roll, um, which means you can roll twice and if the first roll sucks. Or you can give inspiration to another person so they can double roll, so it just kind of helps. And that'll be given out if you do something particularly helpful to me or if it's kind of like super funny or just kind of oh. however I... Feel. But in this particular case, that that particular note where he's like, I'm trying to visit my grandma was super helpful <laughs> to me to kind of like give Throw him a connection to this place. So that's why I gave him an inspiration. Uh, in this I mean, I don't know. Uh, being a traveler. Does that make sense or? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Do I okay. get it removed from mine completely? I get like a negative one? <laughs> no, you're you're fine. You're... <laughs> you can't have negative inspiration. Oh, I can't. Unfortunately. <laughs> Every day. Yeah, throw it away. I don't want that. All right. So you guys are wanting to go to a uh, to the stream where you first met the uh, the young the young folk. Why well, not? No. I mean, I could be, I could be, uh, I could be down with getting some some grubbage. We could go get some apricots, but I heard, those people said that there were goblins down there. Now, I don't know about y'all. I don't like fighting on empty stuff. Well, there's tons of apricots, courtesy of a dead lady. Apricots? Yeah, yes, there, there's kumquats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There's, there's, there's a whole bunch of jam in here and preserves. Yeah, Grandma likes to make a kumquat right. jam. Well, she likes. Yeah, what? she does. <laughs> womp womp. Okay. So, oh, as you guys dope. are talking for a little while, the <laughs> rain starts to die down. It's still about uh, one or two o'clock, somewhere around there. So, there's still time to get to the uh, to the orchard and back if you wanted to travel. Are we leaving? For a jog, but yeah, I could be I could be persuaded to leave. Right. Would I be able to take any of the uh, jars with me? Uh, yeah, if you want to take a jar or two of apricot jam, that's perfectly okay. fine. Can yeah, I roll this I'll rug up a, and take it with me and sell I'll it at the uh, top? Two jars. Um, that would probably be up to Rock and Rolla and Dakaris and Mona, who have claimed this uh, cottage as theirs. Although, as <laughs> I guess the sole living heir of this uh, <laughs> unfortunate cottage, technically you have claim, so I, uh, you'd have to work it out with them. So I don't suppose you guys mind if I take some of the jars with me, do you? Oh, uh, no, we've got plenty to go around. Yeah, we have a snack on the road. Sure, so this is you guys' like home? Like you live here? This is my grandma's place. Uh was, I guess, but you guys don't mind I, if I uh, take take this rug and sell it at this town we're going to, do, do you? Sorry, I already Cash. Hmm? Yes I'm. Oh uh, you, you guys aren't going to a town, you guys are just going into the forest where Ah, uh, oh, fuck that, I'm leaving the rug. But the if you if you want to take that rug into the a picnic. yeah for a picnic you can totally take it. 
All right, so this rug is no longer here. Ignore this rug. This rug doesn't exist. Tomorrow we can play. All right. So you guys head back here. A soft cushion. Actually, I need to grab the two new characters. Just gonna put you all in a block so I can copy you. All right, and then doo -doo -doo -doo. Oops. had my jars of jam. Yeah, I just added two to my inventory. Two kumquat, your three kumquat jars. <laughs> <laughs> I just called them jar racers because it kept kicking me out of it. So <laughs> just take what right. I could. So you show up at the uh, at the same place that you met the uh the young folk before um you don't see terminator or rasputin here as you've decided to call them <laughs> <laughs> but you do see is that what we called them <laughs> yeah i think that's what you called them and uh <laughs> i know you called them terminator for sure uh you do see i don't remember if i gave him a name but i'm gonna say his name is now xavier because i totally forgot so you see xavier and the young lady uh, chatting by the banks of the stream. <gasps> My BFF Joey! What up, brah? I mean, uh, what was your name again? Joey! I'm gonna call you Jay. Uh, my name, my name Jack. is Xavier. Professor? Yeah, Joey. Uh, what, what, what can I help you with? We're, we're dealing with some troubled times right now. Are you okay? You wanna talk about it? Well, a goblin raiding party came and kidnapped one of our, uh, one of our friends. Uh, was it Terminator? It it wasn't it wasn't Terminator. It was uh, uh, it was uh, Shema, who is who's very important for our for our organization. Killing business. Real name. Where did they go? What direction did they go? Uh, they were they were up they they were down to the south. Uh, they the they came they were unlike any goblins we've ever seen before. It was they they were riding wool. <gasps> Ooh, what, what 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 were they wearing? I mean, describe if there was any puffs of white oh. fur <laughs> under the neck on any of those. Oh, here we go. Were the clothes green? Uh, I I, I didn't. This is fucking we... serious. Calm down. <laughs> We it didn't was a really... white tuft. It was kind of in the shape of a diamond, <laughs> like this. I I, 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 this I didn't get a good look at them, but uh, you know, Ter Terminator did. He said that that there was just three wolves. He he was so taken aback by how fast they came and attacked that he he didn't really get. He he looked more at the goblins. One of the goblins was very strange. It was actually, uh, it looked like it had a a loot. And it was playing some sort of sound that the other goblins were attuning with, and and they moved extra oh, fast. I don't... He's a magician. Uh, or is it a musician? A green goblin. Dude. Yeah, he threw pumpkin bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's the one who turned those people in the fucking shed. To <laughs> Damn you, Sam Raimi. <laughs> it looked like Willem Dafoe. All right. <laughs> he told me, you know what? Right. I'm Terminator. somewhat of a of a magician myself. <laughs> you like with close up magic? Man. Listen, because chicks love close up magic. I'm just saying. <laughs> you want to get into some pants? Do some close up magic. Girls love it. That so when you I... compare them to their mothers, they fucking love it. Look when I did so, my thumb. All right. <clears throat> Storm. Uh, Walmart. Edward from uh, Twilight, do you guys want to join our party while we go and find my wolves? Or while we go look for these goblins? I mean, we, we have to attend things back at our, uh, you know, back at our location. But if, if you guys could could please go in and, f and find our friend, that would be so helpful. We would, we would gladly pay you 200 gold pieces or 
we do have a uh, um, a magical artifact that uh, might be of use to you in your adventuring. I'm in. Oh. Wait. What? What artifact kind of artifact? That we got was a fucking kumquat picker. Can you be a little bit more descriptive? Uh, well, the the ever? item we. The item we have, uh, it, it, we know it's magical. We don't exactly know what it does. It's it's some sort of uh, some sort of like crown or headband thing. Um, we just know it's magical from from how it looks and how it kind of glows in the dark and stuff. That's not normal for a, a circlet, so we're we're assuming it's presumptuous. Yeah, I mean, maybe oh, someone yeah. puts some glow in the dark paint, but you can take the 200 gold instead. Although, if you do bring our friend back alive, we'll give you both. Oh, give any more useful information for where the goblin might have gone, slash uh, anything else that you could tell us that might be helpful for them. I mean, they 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 did go to the south. We know that they've they've been, you know, kind of south of these orchards for a while. You would have to do a little bit of tracking, but. I mean, they're goblins. You can just follow the smell from about a mile away. Okay. All right. Tracking. Speak up. Mm, I don't think my tracking is all that great. All right. Uh, I'm pretty good at that. I don't know if that counts for tracking. It would be a survival check, most likely. Well, then I'm pretty decent. Let's see. I'm okay, but not great. Plus one. If we I find got a some animals, three. I could ask them. Can I try and True. get a little advantage point and climb to see if I see anything? Smoke or anything? I mean, there, there, there wouldn't be anything around here. Like their, um, their camp that they have isn't even near here. It's probably about an hour uh, southeast of here. Um, mm -hmm. They, they more indicated the direction as being southwest of here. Did they tell or did they say exactly where he was kidnapped from? Was it this area, I, or? So you ask him, you know, where exactly, where is he, where he was kidnapped from, and they say, oh, just right outside of our, um, right, right outside of our camp. Uh, if you want to come back with us, we can show you where that, where that is. Okay. To go to that camp and see if we could like load up on gear and shit. Yeah, it might not hurt there. to you. Yeah. They've been really friendly and forthcoming with us so far. Plus, <clears throat> we might find some clue or something of that nature, too. Feel a boat. Do my best to track. The woods, we can just say, sail down the river. All right, so you guys are going to go and follow them? Uh, back to the village, I think? Back back to their their camp. Their camp, yeah. Okay. You guys are gonna Dick. go here. Who cut down all these beautiful trees? Oh, a giant. Paul McGiant. Uh, the the trees are obviously above the the plane where you're on. There, it's just there for tactical stuff. Stumps. Yeah. You, <laughs> you can, can predict all... the future. <laughs> Not a bird. I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss those trees. <laughs> Alright, give me just a moment. That one was my tree father. Guys. <laughs> right, yeah. I take a dip. The water empties out. <laughs> Why is this water soaks up into your enormous taint? Just <laughs> why are you sticky? Aren't you in You're like cut out again? Plate mail or something? He just sinks. Um, the but I'm a really good swimmer. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm also I don't know if you guys know this, but back in Tessel Test, Flum, where I'm from, I was the number one underwater breather uh, for six years in a row. Until I was dethroned by Clovis. Those were words. Um... <laughs> Clovis. So I'd probably ask them uh, where where they saw it happen, so I could go investigate that area. Oh, she's inside. All right. Blued. So, um, they they walk with you for a ways, probably about forty five minutes from where you guys were. They make idle 
chit chat about, you know, apricot farming and uh, how the lack of kumquats here makes it difficult to uh, find a good binder for their jams or something. And um, they uh, they lead you to this uh, to this place right here, and they say, "Oh, our our camp is just south of here. This is where you know they were taken. Um, there was some sort of." Uh, music going on. It sounded like a cacophony. Uh, there was like some guitar player who probably had a stroke who was playing, and then the goblins came riding on their wolves, and then they took away uh, Shema, and then they headed <laughs> off to the to the west. Not Shema. She was a cook. We really need her. Like no one else. No one else here knows how to cook very well. Do you know if they have any other, how they have an encampment nearby? Uh, the goblin encampments? I mean, generally, they're from the, the west as well, but they've never come riding wolves and never with some sort of, like, any kind of magical uh, attunement of any kind. We've usually been able to fend them off. Uh, Terminator, I mean, uh, uh, Afflin, <laughs> has been pretty Arnold. good at... Yeah, Afflin's been pretty good at keeping them off. Uh, he's he's pretty powerful, but he he was they they came so fast this time that that we weren't able to to save her. All right, so I'd do I'm gonna look right. around a bit to see if there's anything special I could find from where this happened. Okay, Any give me uh, an or... give me an investigation check. I did. Oh, you did give me an investigation check. Cool. Uh, everyone else want to give me an investigation check? Sure. Not going to go well, but... Oh, shit. That was... Damn. Well, that would have been it. A... Yeah, would have been a natural, but... <laughs> My intelligence minus one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that everybody? Okay, there's more... Okay, that's everybody. All right, so Dakaris, Asheron, and Alcadius, you do notice there's some wolf tracks off to the left here. Um, as you guys are investigating, they say, we'll be over at our camp. You can get there just by following this little trail here down to the south, uh, to the southeast. We're, you know, just a 10-minute walk away. Um, we really don't want to be out here when, you know, night falls. It's getting close to dark now. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna take off. Bye. Miss you already. <laughs> I don't trust them. They're a lot less trustworthy than Terminator was. I'm a little confused. I don't know how you guys saw those tracks. I didn't see anything. <laughs> mm. Good eyes. <laughs> it's like they appeared out of nowhere. Did you guys put them there? Uh, there's some there's some questions to be asked here. Like who chopped all these trees down? Why did they have those wolves? Where are all the kumquats? Why what is are the there average them? flight is... velocity? Oh wait. The brochure said there would only oh. be a few of them. Yeah, they just kind of left us here. They did. So do we want to help literally them and like try to find away. that person, or do we think we they're not trustworthy enough? Well, I mean, we what should go we back and the investigation check. We should go back and wrap that wolves, them. Uh, they, they came in with a fair amount of wolves or something of that nature. Only saw wolf prints. We didn't see anything else. It was literally just wolf prints. I mean, you you saw wolf prints just right here. Like, if I were to draw it, <laughs> it'd be like. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I mean, I on. say we go after them. The wrong layer. Rock and roll, if you think about it, they could be your wolves. But that, but... And that's true and all, but if we only see wolf prints and we don't see, like, human prints, then I don't think we have anything to be worried about as far as those people are concerned. And they're probably telling us the truth. True. Uh, can I... Because if all we see is wolf tracks and we don't see, like, feet princes, because can people like... can't ride wolves. Can I, like, check the tracks? Well, they said it was goblins. Yeah, yeah. They they claimed those people goblins. People can't ride so... I bet goblins probably could. As I'm assuming they're average-sized wolf paw prints mm. and such, not 
ginormous. Is there only wolf print? print? Or do, is there like goblin? Like some goblin? I mean, that, that's all you see from, from here. Um, and as you guys are in investigating, let's say, how, how close are you going to be investigating these tracks here? Investigate the shit out of them. Yeah, get right up on that shit. Yeah, that's a that's a four that's a four power right there. This okay, so give me good. either an investigation check or a survival check, whichever is better for each of you. Hey, another. Oh. Jesus, dude. Two natural. All right, we are we are good at this investigation <laughs> thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Most of us. It appears you got some, <laughs> some more stuff. Uh, rock and roll is finding rocks. Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm to figure out which one is better. Because I found some bugs. Oh, look, guys, it's a piece of poop. <laughs> oh, oh, that's my poop. Jesus. Right, curious, we'll take your 11. Okay. Because that was the first one you rolled. Yeah. Uh, so, is that everybody? Oh. Um, so. I'm a pro at this fucking track checking. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> so as you guys are, are checking, animals. as you guys are checking the tracks, you're very, like being very meticulous. You're spending a lot of time just looking at the surrounding woods, seeing if anything is there. You do find uh, a a bit of cloth from what looks like a frilly piece of a dress. Uh, so you, you do know that some lady has been through here and has been that you it's right in the same path as the wolves so you imagine it might have gotten snagged on a twig or a branch at some point um but while you guys are checking you do hear a strange uh a strange sound coming in from the the distance it sounds like the the strumming of a guitar or a lute or some sort of stringed instrument perhaps a sitar maybe a maybe a harp I think we may be up against an interesting combination of a goblin and a bard. <laughs> At least it's not a or it's a bard berry. Possibly white snake. It's probably white snake <laughs> coming through on tour. Okay, go ahead and give me a perception check, each of you. They're goblin, probably. Good perception check there, Mort. <laughs> <laughs> I found some air. He's counting with these rolls. <laughs> Guys, I found a tree. <laughs> he found the same rock. <laughs> so, Cryptic, Asheron, and Dakaris, you see off in the distance uh, something moving through the woods very quickly. Um <laughs> Oh, guys, I see something in the woods. It's moving quickly. Alcatadius, <laughs> you're just shit. like... You, you kind of notice where everyone else is looking and look there as well. Wait, Mort, you're just game? like looking Jeez. behind you at a tree going, <laughs> I wonder how Drew. Mark Who cut comes this down. Like, how, does, how does it do that? That's amazing. A uh, tree? <laughs> they be moving towards us or what life. direction are they going? Uh, give me just a moment. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, that's why. I said that was odd. Wow. Plus five to perception. Good lord. Yeah. Jeez. Been seeing things. Okay. So all of you noticed something over here, which is that there are a couple of goblins riding wolves coming towards you. Coming towards us? Uh, yeah. What they, the fuck? they notice. It. Can I throw a rock? Hold on, guys. <laughs> uh, those wolves. Until go ahead I and find out if one of those is my wolf. <laughs> and his go brother ahead and, and sister. <laughs> go ahead and roll me initiative. Oh, hold on, hold on. I need to find out if those are my wolves. No, no, no. So for, for initiative, please click on your token in roll 20 first, and then click on your initiative roll in D&D Beyond. That'll actually add you to the turn order. Wait, where do we click it? 
So click on your token in roll 20 so that they're highlighted, and then go to D&D Beyond and click the initiative button, and it'll add you to the turn order. Aw, oh, man, I rolled again. Watch, I'm gonna roll like that. Ah, uh, seat man! Nope. Like that. Did I do it? 13 to a 7. It. So the only person who hasn't done it is Asheron? I'm failing. There we there go. You go. I managed Good to do job. it funny. <laughs> uh, Asheron, what was your first? Well, your first roll was the same. As, so that's yeah, same. So. <laughs> my, my initiative hasn't and changed. Then, all that. Oh, no, my first one was a 10. I, I clicked it a it? few times. Yeah, I look up a bit more. Oh, OK. So we, we always go with your first roll. So that's a 10. Uh, who else failed at doing Everyone that? at least once, almost. <laughs> Almost, not all. Mona was a 17. Uh, Asheron was a 10. We got that. Cryptic was 14. Which we got that. Dakaris was 15. That's good. And Mort was 18. Okay. And then... Give me just a second. Some brown wolves or gray wolves? They are gray wolves. Guys, it just appeared to me. I don't have anything, so I cannot fight. What do you mean you don't have anything? You should have <laughs> equipment from when you created equipment your character. Equipment carried, zero pals. I could, I could swing you by your legs at the goblins. <laughs> now, here's the thing, guys. We're specifically targeting the goblins until I can get close enough to ID if those are the wolves that I need back or not. Now, and they respond arguing? to their names. One of them's name is Chesterfield, the other one's name is David Duchovny, and the last one's name is Schlamblam. Now, are we you, in man. combat right away, or do we have time to react before they arrived? So everybody but Mort has time to move two squares in order to get into some sort of formation. All right. I'll say. Would I also be able to use my, uh, I'm drawing a blank on how to pronounce it, the thaumaturgy? Mm, no, you would have to, you, you don't have time to any, use any actions or anything, but everybody but more can move two squares if you want to. I am good where I'm at. All right. What do the squares count as as far as distance? They're five feet. In 5e, e, everything is five feet. Diagonals are five foot, no matter what. So everything's just five feet. Um. All right. So everyone's just One. getting away from Mort. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I got you covered. Sacrificial ma'am. Sacrificial ma'am. No. I mean, you can't be on the same way. Hang on this. one second. Let me make sure I know what my distances are. There. Okay. okay. So, Can't be in this. What... Actually, I'll go there. We will roll initiative. Watching roll twenty. Uh, Fuck. Twenty nineteen twenty <laughs> twenty twenty. Okay. Now I'm curious about placement here. So they're not. Okay, that's a twenty one. That's pretty close. Either, just... Uh, they are riding the wolves. I just moved them so I can roll their Select animation. them, yeah. I got you. Okay. So, um... Well, we'll first off it it is, is the... Uh, goblins. So, this goblin... Uh, seems to do some strumming on his... Uh, loot that he has there. And then this goblin seems to grow... Uh, like, kind of glow with, like, an eerie green glow. That's uh, not good. This goblin will shoot at Mort, because he's the first person that kind of he can see. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, he misses. The other goblin here is going to shoot at Mort as well. How did I roll for that? So he will do something.
which is enough to hit uh, Mort for eight damage. So a uh, damn crossbow shot comes at you and hits you. Okay, uh, Mort, it's your turn. <clears throat> now I can't roll. move and attack in the same turn. Uh, you can remember you can so for combat you can move, you can do an action. And you can do a bonus action as well as an item interaction. So that's usually not that important. So move, action, bonus action. An action is either attacking, dodging, one of the things that it says action on in your D&D Beyond sheet. Uh, bonus action is usually some sort of special ability that you have that says this costs a bonus action to do. Gotcha. So you can move up to your walking speed, and then you can attack. Um, that sort of thing, that's fine. Ooh, interesting. So I have Divine Smite. <clears throat> Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. One, two, three, four. I'm going straight for the guitarist. You always okay. take out the head of the band first. Divine Smite. When you hit with a melee weapon attack, you can expend one spell slot to deal 2d8 extra radiant damage to the target, plus 1d8 for each spell level higher than first, and plus 1d8 against undead or fiends. So you're doing what now? Said, Divine Smite. When you hit with a melee weapon attack. So you don't have to use that until you actually roll and hit. And it's it off of the roll itself. Yeah, let's see here. When you hit with a melee weapon attack, spend okay. one, you can spend a spell slot to do that. So you see if you hit gotcha. first, and then you would do that. Okay, so with 19, definitely hit. So that's six damage. Do you want to use that? Yeah. Okay, so that would be the 2d8 for a first level spell slot or 1d8 for a second level spell slot. I don't know. If you have you don't have second level spell slots, so it would just be the one. Uh, Can I just click on the 2d8 in chat? Well, you can't do 2d. Uh, you should be able to. Yeah. Hmm. Just go ahead and roll 2d8. As he swings, I look at everyone behind him and whisper, Oh, wow. He's attacking. I don't think those are Perfect. the puppies he's looking for. Oh, and I'm not doing anything to these wolves. He's going to say he's going for the goblin unless he so whiffs pretty hard. 16 plus 6 is... What? Whoa, 22. robot. He deal 22 to that goblin. That goblin is so... <laughs> what the hell just happened there, Flip? God, is what? that you? What? Your uh, voice mod is going crazy. God? I know it's not my time. First you were a robot. Yet. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> not not sure how that happened. I must have pushed the wrong button. He's stuck. The shit out of him. <laughs> so yeah, you, 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 you literally just punched him back. He was like, there was no way he was going to survive that. Uh, so he's... he's the divine dead. smite activates completely. Okay. Make sure you mark off that you use a spell slot for that, though. Um, okay. I mark it off. Uh, so in in your spells section, next to your first level, mm -hmm. there should be three little boxes that say slots, and you can click on the box that uh, next to it so that it's marked off. It says cast. Is that what you're talking about? Above that. So above the cast, it says first level, directly to the right of where it says first level, it says slots, and there's three little boxes. Oh, I see. Oh, they're so they're so small. Okay, I see it. I see it. Got it. Okay. Cool. Uh, are you doing the anything else? The ringleader is dead. Um, and let's see. I don't have any other moves, do I? Okay, so it's Mona's turn then. Uh, run up. Shadow of this goblin with my. You said you do what now? Mace. Okay, got it. 18 for 5 damage hits, but doesn't kill him. I guess that's all I can do. Okay, you guys should see that uh, you've dealt 5 damage to that guy. Five out of ten. Or out of zero, actually, I can't see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
It's a zero because it's just damage. It, it's a small screen, so. You can use <laughs> Alt and Scroll Wheel to kind of zoom in. Yep. Yep, I was just doing that. Uh, Dakaris, <laughs> it's your turn. All right, uh, I'm going to cast Firebolt. Um, where should I go for it? I guess the guy on the right. So the guy that's already injured? Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to say he's in half cover because Mona is in the way. Oh. So that, oh, the goblin will get two extra armor class. That doesn't necessarily mean you will miss. You won't ever hit Mona by doing that, but it's just a little bit harder. It's still the same with the other one. So if you try to hit any of these guys right now, okay. because Mona and Mort are in the way, it's a little bit more difficult. That's fine. Okay. So 14, which goes up to, or goes down to 12, essentially. Uh, that is a miss. So you do miss. And as you normally do, you start a fire you know just <laughs> slightly behind them as is what they do <laughs> i don't think dakaris has ever hit with this <laughs> uh give me just a moment guys. okay it's our opportunity well flip needs a moment to grab another beer oh god yeah i'm gonna do the same yeah i'll refill my drink while i'm at it I'm wondering if I could persuade them to, you know, the wolves to join us. Uh, animal handling. Yeah, yeah, I got one into it. We'll try to kill goblins first before we try doing that. Maybe with the final wolf or something. Would that count as a bonus action, or would that be a normal action now? I am not sure. tried animal handling in combat before. Yeah. Because it's calling down a domesticated animal. Would they be counted as domesticated if they're domesticated by uh, the goblins? I think you'd have to stuff <laughs> I, have to add, I have to add in complications <laughs> he, he, is, he is kind of flippist god you have to ask him. yeah that's what i'll ask him but all right cryptic what are you drinking uh a bitch drink uh oh you're drinking a white claw no it's a corona refresher dude okay <laughs> oh boy here we go <laughs> Let me tell you a little story. Everyone sit first. back and relax. Oh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, I had gotten this, I got on this kick about the Blue Moons having all these different flavors that they had been releasing in these like multi packs, and I was like, oh, hell yeah, this is fucking amazing. So, once I got tired of trying all the Blue Moons, I was like, oh, sweet, Corona's doing the same thing. They're releasing these flavored Coronas now. I was like, I gotta try them. So, I brought the Refresca some. Realized what it was that I had actually bought. And then, like, had a fucking... Just a fit online. I was like, I can't fucking believe that I bought these. But let me tell you, they're fucking delicious. And then I couldn't stop drinking them. <laughs> I couldn't stop drinking them. The refrescas were so good. I couldn't fucking believe it. Flip remembers. He was there for this. I couldn't stop drinking them. They were fucking amazing. I kept buying more and more and more of them. Now I can't even find them here. They're a seasonal a... thing that's out of season, and my town is the last six packs. So, um, I hate the coconut ones, so I have like a shit ton of coconut ones in my freezer in my basement. Crazy. Mail them to me. <laughs> Mail me the coconut ones. I can fucking love them. Yeah, you just order, just order on Amazon. Corona White Claw. See, You'll get Corona. The wolves. Uh, this one's the Guava Lime. I that one a lot. The passion fruit one's probably my favorite. Well, I got oh. hot dogs. Oh, I got. <laughs> comes back with hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no one too. Did you drink the juice? Did you drink the hot dog juice? 
the no, devil's juice. No, I did not juice. drink the hot dog juice. Dude, I fuck <laughs> with it. Go ahead crystals. and put it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta put it the, in. Is that the gamer juice? Like the, the no, like juice? if you make beef stew, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta dump the hot dog juice in beef stew. That actually just like flavor crystals. That's just what Nos is, just hot dog. I can't. Well, I uh, <laughs> I just finished Jack and Coke, and now I've gone to a delightful Pilsner. I have, I mean, I have you're like. You're not drinking that fucking nasty ass Corona, whatever. I don't know, man. I got like six Sad packs. Cut. I got like six six packs of these uh, uh, dogfish head beers. Ooh, I, I filled my entire mini fridge. I have an empty. Hell yeah. Tap water. I got twisted. <laughs> I twist the tea in there that I won't drink because it tastes disgusting as shit. The teas. I can't do. I can't. Not saying it. that I know what that tastes like, but I mean, it's like just pretty disgusting. All right. Nobody's here to judge, except for Decorus. <laughs> All right, God, let's go. <laughs> so we were on uh, Decorus's turn. Did you want to move or anything, Decorus, or are you just going to sit tight? I'm going to sit tight where I'm at because I'm nice and safe over here. All righty. Uh, Boromir. Midget, how are you turn? safe? <laughs> <laughs> um, Ish. actually, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm knowing that I'm brave, not smart, but as brave as I am, I'm gonna go ahead and run in. Ah! Oh, hold on, wrong thing. I gotta click on this guy. Ah! Ah! That's just, that's uh, holy shit, right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and swing on this guy okay. right here. On the on the actual goblin, okay. On the goblin, yeah. Go ahead yeah. and uh, roll for attack. All right, so do I just click on the physical short sword itself? Uh, yeah, there should be a little icon mm. next to the short sword. There you go. So 16, 16 is a hit for six damage. Does knock him out. He falls off the wolf as well. Oh, I wasn't even done with him. Degoris, check out this midget. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me go. I'm a halfling, damn it. Degoris, De this midget. You. He's about to bust out the halfling rap. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Check it out, yo. <laughs> oh my god, this I haven't heard this since I was little. I love this one. Please continue. <laughs> yo, I'm not a big bard, but I bring you harm. Me and my short sword. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's wiggity whack. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it is your turn. Uh, if you want to go ahead and give me a perception check for which uh, which wolf you're checking out, and I will give you a description of the wolf. I'll be right back. I'm going to change this. It'll be uh, the far. Uh, no, it'll probably be the middle wolf. The middle wolf. Okay, give me a perception check. Okay. Sixteen. Okay, you can tell the, or you can see somehow through Rock and Roller's, you know, thick quads <laughs> that uh, <laughs> the wolf is the one that Mort's been talking about, the one with the diamond tuft of hey. white on its center. You wrote you my think, wolf into the game. Maybe, <gasps> probably, could be. Hmm. There's probably that's probably pretty common for wolves, so who knows? But okay. Uh, if you want to go ahead and now take the rest of your turn. Okay. You are uh, raising that I, man's hopes I, up. I know. <laughs> and I'm so glad a... I didn't accidentally hit the wolf. All right. I'm going to position myself here. And I will try to... I, I guess I have to cast uh, Animal Talk on myself or speak with animals. Mm -hmm. Um. It doesn't take up in the uh it's in yeah there's world, no there's so. no roles or anything you just have it um and then it'd be uh i believe now would it be persuasion or would it be animal handling i'll let you roll whichever one is better okay and as uh rock and roller and mona and boromir have destroyed the goblins that are on top of those particular wolves i'll go ahead and give you advantage on that so you can roll twice okay Hey, since the goblin on the right is in the water, is he technically flowing down the stream? All right, well then, so if heavy. I get to roll twice, I'm definitely gonna roll again off that one. <laughs> oh, there he goes! He's uh, he's uh, taking a trip. <laughs> 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 
Okay, and what what are you saying exactly to the wolves to try and get them to your side? I'm just telling them, hold off, don't attack us yet. We won't hurt you yet. We will wait and we will try to figure this out. We will make, you know, try to make peace before we, you know, have to fight further. Okay, and the wolf responds, goblins say kill. We kill. We good at kill. Kill now. Okay. That doesn't sound like David Duchovny. <laughs> what also uh you're trying to talk to what did he say uh he's basically just uh simple-minded uh yelling that the goblins are ordering to kill and that they order they're good pups they fight when they are told to fight do they not know we just knocked the fuck out those two goblins one's going downstream <laughs> okay evidently so it's, not it's the wolf's turn <laughs> <laughs> so this wolf's gonna go first. Uh, he is going to attack Mort, and he misses. Uh, uh, this wolf betrayal. is next. He's going to attack Mort. Uh, he actually misses as well. And then this Mor uh, this wolf, this Mort, this wolf is going to attack Boromir since he's the one that killed the goblin on top of him. And uh, go ahead and roll that one. Uh, that one does hit for uh, seven damage. You take seven damage. And if you can go ahead and... Let's see here. Do wolves oh. have that? Oh, that's not a thing that wolves have. Okay, that's good. After you have a question on something. To protect him. Oh, no, they do have that. Give me a, uh, give me a strength saving throw as well. Oh, uh, shit. All right. Saving and... throws, strength. Boom. So the uh, I'm going to go ahead and can I use my inspiration point? Try and reroll that. Uh, Yeah, you can if you want. All right, I'm going to take that nine. Do I have to take the you new take one? Or... Nine. <laughs> no, you take, you take whichever one's better if you use inspiration. All right. So they, they still does uh, seven damage to you. And mm -hmm. as he's like clawing and biting you, uh, he actually knocks you prone. He knocks me down? Yep. Hmm. How big is I mean, this wolf? Uh, I mean, it's it's a wolf, so it's like up to... Well, for you, it's like up to your neck. <laughs> oh, so can I... Uh, do I have to watch my mouth? Can I, is he like on top of me? Uh, he's not on top of you. He just kind of like like swiped at you, and then like he actually like bit you in the arm right here. Oh, you uh, bit me? It's like, ah, oh, really? Big bitch? <laughs> werewolf on the team. This is how you get werewolves, guys. Ah, uh, uh, the dog is female. <laughs> <I'm> Weird dog. <laughs> okay, so it's the goblin's turn. There's only one goblin left. Uh, the goblin says, blah, 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 blah. and uh, he attempts to. Is that a song? I don't remember what the name of it is. Yeah, it's a good but song. I know those are the lyrics. So he's actually going to take the dodge action, and he needs to wait for the wolves because he's riding the wolf to leave. Um, and these other wolves look like they're looking around like they're going to try and leave as well. Okay, Mort, it's your turn. Okay. This goblin. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Now, Okay. I feel like I should pick Bormir up. What kind of move that is. Like, I don't want him to be on the ground with a fucking wolf towering over him. Well, he's prone right now, which means he's knocked to the ground, but the mm. wolf is still in this square right here. Wolf's not on top of him yet. Yeah, he's not he on top of him. him. He's just, he's just like, bit him in the leg, and now he's knocked over. Well, he bit him in the shoulder, and then Bormir was like, oh, the pain, and fell over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I hope, because I'm going to kill this goblet if you don't. Are you going to be okay? Is that you? Uh, me? I'll be... I'll, I'll think I'll, yeah, I think I'll be fine. Okay. okay. This goblin, dude. Uh, you're not going to kill that goblin. You're, you're... I don't think I'm going to kill the goblin. <laughs> 
You're going to you gently said... caress the goblin. <laughs> it's going to confuse it. Don't worry. Are you petting it for having its friend hurt me? What's you're wrong? You're <laughs> loudly purring at it. You're like, uh. I, I gently rub his hair down to his greasy back. Uh. So, you're into, so you're into William Defoe? I will call you Gregory. <laughs> Should have called him William. So, so now he wants a pet goblin instead of a pet wolf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not done with these wolves yet. They haven't run away. <laughs> right, Mona, it's your turn. You uh, made that mistake one time in your life. I'm gonna <laughs> cast Guiding Bolt on that goblin. Sure. God damn, there's a lot of dice. Oh, well, God. Uh, nine to hit means that you, you also miss. <laughs> Fuck, man. Goblin. This is a very dexterous goblin. <laughs> I yes, mean, ten, is. 10 is like the base armor class, so <laughs> a 9 roll is like kind of like, ugh. <laughs> it's that and drunken their punch. <laughs> or in the case of a spell like Guiding Bolt, you're like, I'm going to throw this bolt of uh, softball throw. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing with nerf bolts. <laughs> Anything else, Mona? Alrighty. The Karis, yes, can your firebolt hit a goblin? <laughs> We're going to try it. Not burn this forest down. <laughs> okay, you, you, I mean, if you move here, you'll have a clear line of sight to it. So, Boom. All right. All right. So go ahead and, and roll. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh nope. boy! The fire intensifies. This in the next town. <laughs> Should we just stop? <laughs> Wait, this goblin your turn? just looking at us like, "What the hell?" It's only about a time for <laughs> smoke and the bear pops up. Crypt, oh, it's my turn. turn. Um, yes. Can I use my turn to kind of use like an action to kind of fashion like like a lasso of sort from my rope I have? Uh, so it'd be an item interaction to take out your rope. Um, if you give me a DC 12 survival check, I'll let you fashion the lasso that quickly, That like you're that good with knots. All right. So he has to roll a 12 or better on a survival check in order to fashion the lasso. Let's All right. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so you do have the lasso up? Yep, I have the lasso. And it's going to also be my next turn until I can try and like lasso the wolf and like tighten it to almost like choke it. Okay, you can try and choke, choke out it. a wolf. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm not going to kill it, but if I could choke it to where it loses oxygen and it falls asleep. More of a capture than a the choke. All gonna be I'm going to try and capture the wolf. Okay. Capture. Uh, right. Lolinthia, it is your turn. So would I notice him have having done that with the rope? Or would I have Yeah, to I be... mean, he's in plain sight. Okay. You can see him do that. Okay, so ground. I'd probably make an assumption that since he's not trying to kill wolves, I can probably take this next turn to attack. So I'm going to... He didn't light fire over here, did he, in front of me? Or to my left? I mean, you saw a, a fire bolt go by, but it, it didn't hit anything important. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll do one movement over. I'm going to use a Eldritch Blast towards the last goblin. Sure. Eleven is also a miss. Damn. Fucking evasive little goblin. <laughs> goblin have the armor class. I mean, they're on wolves, so they're they're constantly moving and yeah, yeah, being wolfy. <clears throat> so it makes sense. Yeah. Really? Because they all kind of look like they're just standing there looking to the left. <laughs> There's something really interesting just off screen. There's a squirrel up on the tree off the left. There's just an old man waggling a hot dog around. <laughs> Come here, puppers! <laughs> Alright, so uh, these wolves have been given the command to leave. 
uh, that's what the goblin was yelling at them. You know, after you took out their strange little person there. So they're actually going to try and leave. Uh, whoops. I don't need both of those. I just need these two. So these two are going to try and leave Mort Square. Do you want to take a reaction to try and hit either the goblin or the wolf? The goblin, specifically. Okay. Go ahead and give me a attack. So five damage. You do hit the goblin. You do manage to knock the goblin off, so he is sticking behind. And let me just show you that bar. Zero. Boop. Uh, and the wolf just keeps on going. And then kind of goes off to the side there and just runs away faster than you can possibly catch up to it because it's a fucking wolf. Uh, the this wolf, wolf I was is, interested in. This wolf is also going to try and escape. No! Uh, Mort, you have used your reaction already to try and attack the other, like to try and attack the goblin. So the Mona, you have a reaction if you want to take an attack of opportunity on that wolf. I'll fucking bash that wolf. All right, give me a roll. Uh, you missed. The wolf is just too You're fast. Serious? Come on! It's a fucking wolf. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a yeah, wolf. It's a wolf. It's a naked animal. <laughs> <laughs> the wolf is too fast for you to hit. It's got an armor class of at least ten, we'll say, <clears throat> or at least eleven because you missed. So. And then finally, this wolf is going to try and book it out of here. So, Boromir, you have a chance to attack the wolf. Even if I'm wrong, I still have the chance to throw the lasso? Yeah, you, you have the reaction. If you want, you can th try and throw the lasso on it. Yeah, I'm going to try and throw the lasso on it. Okay. Um, there's no lasso mechanics in the game by <laughs> default. I'll say it's a DC... Uh, it's... It, uh, I'll say it's a DC 15 to lasso the wolf. All right. So you can just use a... Uh, 19. Perfect. Oh, so you, ah, get the, shit. you get the wolf in With a... the fucking power rolls. I know, right? So you get the wolf in a lasso. Yeah, it goes... <laughs> as it kind of just, like, backflips <laughs> onto its this side. This is David Duchovny or not. Quick, get it! <laughs> But he leaves okay. a hand on that wolf. I'm How am I going to determine if this is wolf my wolf keep or running not? with uh... What? Oh wait, you speak animal. Yes. Holy shit. <laughs> we, we could figure out if this is my wolf, and it's just been brainwashed. We sure the wolf's not like dragging me up. Well, I was I, I was wondering if the halfling just gets dragged behind the wolf <laughs> as a case. Does one actually <laughs> brainwash a wolf? Uh, no, well, look, this is new territory. Well, uh, that's for me. what I was wondering. Since <laughs> all right, Wolf, you're gonna stand in this. Since you're gonna stand in this chair and you're gonna look me in the eye for the next four hours. <laughs> Clockwork orange type situation. Well, don't forget, we saw that one goblin still. You're just gonna put like some friggin' specula in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna put it, you're gonna put I don't know if that's a word. That. that sounds like a great word. Uh, this goblin mm -hmm. is gonna dash into the woods. Uh, Son of a bitch! Damn. I'm not worried about the goblin guys. We came here. We, we, we did what we came to do. We came to find out if this is my wolf. Well, is he your wolf? Combat guys. Well, I don't okay. know. We need to. We we've got. lithia has got to try and talk to the wolf now and figure out if it's ours or if it's mine. It could be ours. It could be the family wolf. <laughs> However, I am the one that released it. If it is our wolf, so he will love me the most. Uh, Mort, you see in front of you a wolf that is got a rope around its neck and is on the floor. What are you doing? Lindsay, hurry up and get up here. I need you to talk to this wolf and find out if this wolf was let go in a cave. And abused gonna... it by, by a giant goblin king thing. Troll monster. Bor Boromir, what's your strength? Uh, It's 13 plus 1. So a plus 1. Are you going to help at all in trying to restrain the wolf, Mort? But gently. I'm going to do it gently. Okay. I'm wearing chainmail, so if it's got to bite me on the arm or whatever, it's not getting through. It's chainmail. I mean, wolves are pretty strong. 
Yeah, uh, so yeah, technically we'll probably could actually, but all right. Quick, okay. while it's on the ground, get its legs. <laughs> get its legs. I got the table. So, I was gonna lay on it. So I'll go ahead and say combat's over now. You have the wolf. You guys are trying to hold down this wolf. Uh, the fire or the the forest burns in the background. How <laughs> like more woods than this? <laughs> This is yeah, nothing. Yeah. Have you guys seen what Dakaris uh, did to the other woods outside the cave? <laughs> Holy shit. So I'd walk up and uh, try talking to the wolf. You almost uh, burned okay. the old lady's house down. Ask here. him where he came from first. I, I come from, from Goblin Cave over there. Please let me go. I really just, I want to go home. All right, so you guys, he or came from a cave, cave uh, up the ways. Or not, not, not a, I'm off. sorry. I'm sorry, not a cave. I say I, I oh. come from Goblin Goblin Camp just over here. My bad. Okay, I was like, you said cave, and I'm like, oh, that's I, a I, I, word. <laughs> I when you hear when you think goblin, you think cave, and yeah, yeah, it okay. just so happens. Uh, so he, he's only saying he came from the village up above. Is what what exactly do we Nothing want to know but from? Love him? and food to offer, but that I would really like for for him to be our wolf. Could I? Purdue, do a persuasion check again to see if we can coerce him into calming down and uh, talking. As can... well, he is subdued, I guess. But yeah, he's subdued right now. So, uh, are you gonna? You're just gonna talk to him and yeah, him, like... more trying to calm him down. So eventually, we'd be able to take off the lasso and such as and keep him you know, as uh, hovering without dashing off immediately. Kind of persuasion. Okay, go ahead and give me a persuasion check, or an animal handling check, either one. Uh, Whichever one is better for you. Carry his smile. It's a pride of charisma. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with that one. That was a good roll. That was a good roll. Alrighty, and then what are you, what are you specifically saying to him with that? I'd be asking him if he's willing to relax, stay with us, talk with us. We'll take care of him while we figure things out. He's like, oh, oh, okay. I mean, I see you guys didn't, you know, hurt any of my friends, so I, I guess I guess so. Okay, guys. He he says he'll stick around and he'll. Uh... Yeah, we, we can talk with him now, as we were nice and didn't hit his uh, friends, other wolves. So. Boromir, as a show of good faith, you gotta let him go. Let him off. Let him off the lasso. And let, let's, we have to at least show that we're, we have trust in our hearts for all wolf kind. <laughs> okay. I mean, right. I guess if and you then... think that I... If I should let this wolf go... I, I can. I'm just gonna give the lasso to you. This wolf is about the same height as I am. I'm afraid <laughs> he might eat me. So here. The end goal is for you to be able to ride him. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're getting a mount this early in the game. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but first, we must answer my my suspicion. What I really want to know is it a boy or a girl wolf? Because I called it a big bitch. It's alright, he doesn't understand you. I think you're safe. We'll find it out is, soon. It is a lady wolf. <laughs> really? Oh, but it's yeah, like so... Rick from Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you, you guys You guys take it off the the lasso, like the you take the rope off. Uh and he sits there uh obediently and he's like, okay. Jane, what now? We really need to we need to, we need some... to win this hurt over. Yeah, I, I'd offer we one of the offer jars of jam I have. Uh, it it says, "Oh, thank you," and and quickly eats up the the jam. Why not challenge? Oh my god, this is so great. <laughs> you, we have to win it over first. Then you but can. But if we challenge it, we become back. the alpha. If we become the alpha, doesn't that automatically have to listen to us? It has to listen to Lilinthia. Because that's the only one that can talk to him. But let's... We gotta get it in, in our favor first. You know what we could do with a wolf? Are you kidding me? Look at all the cool shit we could do with a wolf. I could ride it! <laughs> I could eat it. 
assume. Oh, shit. Shit. All right, so we've got this wolf now. This wolf is fat, happy. All right, we need to find out. Lilithia, you got to ask this wolf where the camp is. We 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 need to we need to go because we still have some kidnappees out there. We need to find this camp. And if this wolf is willing to help us, all right. Uh, so I asked the wolf first uh, if it remembers seeing uh, a person taken back to the camp from around this area first. Oh, you mean Round Lady? Yes, we took Round Lady. Round Lady, very loud. Me no like Round Lady. All right, uh, is, and oh, then ask if you'll be able to show us the way How back. Rude. I'm just <laughs> what a racy wolf! <laughs> uh, I carried her, and she was not light. <laughs> what, what did he say? What did she say? Hey guys, uh, uh, so yeah, I'm I'm over there talking, and laughing with the wolf before I turn back. Uh, yeah, she. She remembers seeing uh, the lady, and she actually is the one that uh, carried the lady back to their camp. Uh, although if... she did say that she was rather heavy. Ask if she made her tired. <laughs> if she Three made her percent. tired. You may have to rephrase that one for me. Yeah. Uh, fatigued. Tired. Want to go to sleep? A lot of exercise? Uh, did... So I'd, I'd look back to the wolf and ask him, were you tired and ready for a nap afterwards? Oh, yes. Me very ready for a nap. Yes. <laughs> yes, she was. <laughs> Thought so. Yeah. Sorry, I've turned myself into a wolf. Me, me ready for a nap now, really. Like, goblins are, I mean, they're okay as masters, but they're not the best. Yeah. So I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd tell the rest of them, hey, guys. Uh, your cards right. I keep jerky in my pockets. They're not very good cooks. Well, I bet you they have I, all the kumquats. I don't let him know that, you know, if, if he wants to stick with us, you know, we'll, we'll definitely take care of him. We'll make sure he's uh, getting better food and gets lots of rest. This one goblin, Umgar, tried to feed me rock this time. I, I, no, he's dumb. <laughs> I'm just going uh, back to the group. Goblin. Yeah, goblins are stupid. He <laughs> dumb goblin. Can I search the goblin body? Uh, yeah, you can search. Which one did you want to search? The one that's uh, in the see. river? Or oh, the one... Is... I want to take the fish it out. Yeah, after so, giving the uh, wolf a few pets, I'd go look uh, over here. So for that particular goblin, you find that he has on him a short sword, uh, a short bow, and a broken lute. Ah, oh, come on. He fell sick, onto right? the, his instrument as he like fell off the wolf. Can I roll to change your mind? No, <laughs> I mean you Try can to... take you can take the instrument and see if you can get it fixed. Try it's not a the river and run it's not a particularly well made loot, even in its destroyed. Like you can see that it's kind of made out of like weird shit. Like it's not, it's not. No, no normal person would call this an instrument. Oh well, I guess I'll read and toilet paper. Him. Yeah, it's made out of like bits of bone and like the string that it's made out of is actually string cheese and oh, that's it's not very great. <laughs> I, I, I'd say take it. That that's an amazing instrument if it works like that. Or you can just eat it later. <laughs> I, have, I have a question. Uh huh. I'm awfully charismatic. So with that being said, is it okay that if I were to wear the goblin that's a skin suit, I'm uh, only yeah, the I same height. I mean, Ooh, you deception. can try, but it it Midget, probably won't work particularly goblin. well. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna. Uh, I would let I would let you I would let you do it at a disadvantage because it's it's pretty <laughs> obvious that you're you're not quite the same, you know, like Regardless make out of a, of a goblin. They they so they're not I. actually My that stupid. Is very low. <laughs> got got. Goblins aren't actually that stupid. They have an intelligence of ten, so they're like average. He tried to feed a rock to a wolf. Than me. <laughs> he tried hey to feed the wolf the rock. So I mean, <laughs> I mean, maybe that particular <laughs> goblin isn't so smart. <laughs> but in general, go goblins aren't actually like they're not retarded. Yeah, they're, they're not <laughs> completely stupid. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so can I search this goblin. Or he tries to make his skin suit out of it. <laughs> Wh which which goblin are you searching? I, I'd be if searching you, the one down by the water, or that. Okay. If you click and hold, you'll produce like this little like ping thing, so I can see what's going on. Okay. 
Uh, that goblin also has a short bow, a couple of bolts on him, and a and a scimitar. Um, all of his armor is goblin armor, which you know is pretty crap and really only worth scrap metal, which at most is going to be, you know, apparently ten copper pieces. I probably take the weapons and the bolts. So, okay. So go ahead and add a short bow, a scimitar, and we'll say six bolts to your uh, six goblin bolts to your inventory. She you okay there, Dakaris? Yep. You're sleeping. <laughs> I am coming over. He's coming. You're coming. How many bolts did you say? Man, six? thanks for the follow. I bolts. Okay. So, Bor and if anyone okay. wants any of this stuff, let me know. Uh, what was that? I've got my wolf. I said, uh, Bor sword. Like a weapon or anything, right? <laughs> People keep talking over you. One more time. Boromir, one who didn't have like a weapon or. Anything. Yeah, I, I mean, I... Boromir should have fixed that. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if not, I can give him some <laughs> weapons. Yeah, I got those. I was gonna powers. say you could have the. Got a full size sword. Let me let me double check Boromir's stats here real quick. Full size sword. If I were to get if if I were to have that sword, I would be dragging it. I'm only like three feet tall. That's like oh, a no, three it's foot a, sword. It's a, it's a goblin it's scimitar. A so I mean, oh, so you, yeah, it, it's not. It's a long sword or anything like that. It's a goblin scimitar. So. Cool. Well, thank you. Well, my goblin had a sword. Okay. Which to him would be a long sword. Here at 13. Okie dokie. Uh, so the wolf is willing to tell you more or less like leads you to where the goblins are encamped if you want to uh, follow him. Um, he's not sure he wants to join your party as, he, I mean, you guys killed two goblins, but... Well, I'd, I'd probably tell him that he doesn't he have would to much rather just us. he could stay back. I'm walking up in a skin suit, so I'm going to have a goblin skin over me. <laughs> How do you do it, guys? Like... <laughs> yeah, I, I'd probably be telling the wolf to stay back, not not join in on the I'm fight. I'm going to take a piece of meat from the goblin's flesh. Stay flesh. safe outside and wait outside. <laughs> I'm going to take a piece of meat from the goblin's like, gonna leg be okay. or something. And I'm going to take the skin suit, I'm going to run it in the water, and then like stuff it in my bag quick. Just... <laughs> rinse it out a few times first. Rinse it out, yeah. <laughs> Throw the wolf a piece of meat from the goblin. Not tell him what it is. I like it. Mm, not rocks. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's getting close to dark. Do you guys want to wait until daylight? Are you going to sleep in your goblin suit, or are you just going to try and attack at uh, at night, knowing that? Goblins probably have dark vision. So do I. Probably. Yeah, but Mort doesn't. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I don't need it. I got a big ass sword. I just swing it around my head like this. Just swings blindly. Uh, I'd, I'd still say we should probably wait a bit just to make sure everyone's uh, topped off and ready to go. And we can probably plan this out and how to go in there. Maybe we can talk to the wolf a bit more and see if he knows where she's being held so we can plan this out. I look at Lilith and like, shh. They set a nice campfire for us. Okay. <laughs> and naturally give the wolf lots of pets. Lots, lots of pets. Of... In fact, I'm going to roll to pet the wolf. You're going to roll to pet the wolf? <laughs> yeah. Sure. You get a one, you just get a bit. <laughs> animal handling, let's go. Oh, look at that, such good, good pets. Pet. That's pretty That's, damn good. Those are, those are quality pets, much better quality pets than the uh, gob most Average. goblins were able to uh, muster. He said, this is in the top ten pets of my life. <laughs> <laughs> he likes your petting. <laughs> I give it nine, ten wags at him. <laughs> give it eight and a half. Eight and a half wolf happiness out of ten. I look and I say, can you ask the wolf if I can ride him on his back? It's actually on one of my bucket list. That's really what we need to do. You've got the goblin suit, right? Yeah. If we could send you in as a decoy. 
<laughs> I, I'd, I'd ask like the wolf if right, she'd be open right in... to accepting the goblin, or not the goblin, the halfling What's as up, a you rider sweet at some deer? point. How are you? Do you speak goblin? Um, Holly knows like everybody up in chat right now. Look at her. No, I know common elvish, no mission halfling. So everything but goblin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There might be a flaw in your plan, I'm just saying, but very well. You not okay, streaming tonight? Uh, give me just a moment Whoa. to get a... Unless I'm streaming. Or are you streaming today? Oh, you're getting ready to start? <laughs> this is nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <coughs> Give me, give me just a moment here. Nice. Yep. So, you know how that goes. Oh. How are you liking all the new Mario Maker stuff? I haven't even got to see all of it yet. Oh, I've seen. No, I've seen a lot of it. I've seen a lot of it. Um, but I haven't got to see all of it yet. Like, I haven't got to see, like, the, where you can control the bullet bills and stuff like that, but I've seen a lot of the other shit. It's pretty freaking neat. Oh, man, there, oh, there's more. so much, there's so much new jank. <laughs> <laughs> have you, uh, have you checked out my stream yet? Like, can you hear my computer in the background, or I don't know how much that all do is impacting. I haven't seen it since you, uh, I haven't seen it since you got it all fixed up. Uh, well, the the only one making noise mind. constantly is Mort, so... Yeah, well... Okay. Well, no, I also have push to talk, so I, my thing isn't on. You're, so. you're good. Okay, cool. Uh, let me see here. Oh, why is isn't Flip streaming? Why am I not streaming? Allie wants know. to know why you're not streaming. I don't know. It's more difficult than than streaming. Yeah, I mean, takes all his concentration. <laughs> he's that, that, he's that's part of it. Like responsibility. Yeah, I, I've got a lot to look at. I don't really have time to look at chat. I'm in this shit show, he's got all the responsibility for this tonight. This is Gracie. Hi, Gracie. Where's your pig at? Uh, nether room. He's asleep. Oh. You have a pig? Pick her up and bring <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. I do have a pig. Her name is Phoebe. She's beautiful. <laughs> I have a pig. It's my wife. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> Dang, 1980s comedy. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go watch Mad Men. Why is this off? Uh, oh, man. Or do you not have a life? I finished watching Mako. <laughs> I've got. Oh, fucked up. Did you... Have you finished it yet? Finished what? Have you finished watching Waco yet? Oh yeah, I finished. That was good. God, how fucking all that shit that finally just came out into the open of how fucked up that situation really was. It, it was pretty much. Well, I mean, yeah, a lot <clears throat> of that stuff was leaking anyways at the time. As far as dogs go, I've got uh, this little one. She is a Morky. Marky, so it's a Yorkie and Maltese. Uh, I have a pit bull, and then the pig. Uh, squirrel recently died. Uh, no, uh, really? Yeah. Your squirrel died? Really? Yep. You didn't tell me that. I did. You did? Yeah. Oh. Well, you yeah, had a squirrel? I'm sorry. <laughs> I remember that. Had it for about 15 years. Uh, it's like like, oh, like, a, like a flying squirrel, like a legit squirrel. A legit squirrel. I actually used to have sugar gliders years ago, but but yeah, this uh, is a regular squirrel I rescued. I had never seen. 
about a year ago. Yeah. There's no squirrels in Hawaii. <laughs> we have bongo. Real? Oh yeah, I guess I never really thought about that. I have a dog. Cool. Oh, what kind of dog? Fuck a husky. Girl Baskin. A husky. She's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> and a wife. <laughs> I have kids. I have three of them. I mean, that's, that's the same, yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't get kids. <laughs> you can totally avoid said, it. Just it's... stay indoors. <laughs> wear <laughs> wear, wear masks. Listen, <laughs> listen to your governor. <laughs> uh, got Pamela Hamm. And boo, 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 boo. don't even have to buy her dinner. No, my wife's the only part of this whole situation I like. No, I can't say that. Yes, I can. No, I definitely can't because that oldest kid fed me tonight and it was delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Should you guys food. You guys uh, set up a camp here. Um, this cart doesn't exist, but the tent does. You guys, one of you had a tarp or something that you set up as a tent. Um, you guys, uh, are ready for the night there. Um, is there anything you guys want to do before nightfall shows up? Can I lay down my carpet? Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, lay that carpet out. Let's get me comfy tonight. Also, well, it was I want for the wolf. to investigate the holographic cart that's not actually there, evidently. I'm seeing a hologram. You see grass. Of... There's just grass. There's nothing there. Cart-shaped the grass. Wolf lots of pets. Yep, cart-shaped grass. Sleep. Exactly. Can I swim to the island? Sure. Do we know also from here where the Mona. camp is? You have to pay me first. I do no such thing. I'm bigger than you. It's true. But I have magic. <laughs> you have night vision. So, on the island, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Ooh. Talk dirty to me. <laughs> actually, you cannot, you cannot actually uh, be part of this group anymore. Uh, what? Uh... <laughs> No, because I was like talking to you to me. I'm just making it funny. Yo. Come on. You're only with us because you're socially insecure. No, wait, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I'm I'm looking. Hold on. I did a thing. One second. Nope, that's not it. I'll find it. Word. Where would I find that? I'm sorry. Investigation, it's going to be in your skill list. It's going to be oh, in like the center big column that has you. all your skills. 13. All right. You find nothing of particular interest on this island. Uh, it does look like a nice spot to sleep if it weren't for that it's getting very dark. Oh, guys, uh, there's nothing here on this island. Um, it's getting dark, but it looks very comfortable. We should probably swim over here and take a nap. Ooh, I guess I'll check the island. Lim? Okay, I'll ask the wolf right, to see if he's Go ahead and give me an there. investigation. By investigation? Bad. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you me. also determine that it seems like a perfectly fine place to sleep. It never believes me. But otherwise, there's nothing <laughs> fancy about this island at all. There's a tree on it. In the tree, there is carved the initials JP um, and a heart. Sure, I'll see you, you later. Never, you can never trust dwarves. Every down low. I'd ask the wolf if it's fine swimming over there for to stay with us for the night. What was that, uh, Lovinthia? I was asking the wolf if it's fine swimming over there, uh, and sleeping with us over there for the night. It's like, it's a, it's a little late to be 
swimming. I'll, I'll probably get cold. Okay. Don't worry. I'll stay here with the wolf and keep it warm. Yeah. I'll, right I'll by stay our here. tarp. And now I'll, I'll help. Uh, <sighs> well, do we have stuff around to make fire? I think. Nah, we probably don't need to do it. Or is uh, I mean, it, light something it's, on fire. It, the car can easily, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll say that the car Tax does it accidentally. <laughs> now we just have to Fire have to <laughs> <laughs> God, I, I could do. I've got burning hands. I could try. <laughs> Since I'm not by two cars, can I start a fire over this? Yeah, he's just a drunk ass wizard. Nicholas Cage fucking wizard back there. Fireball! <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so you guys sleep for the night. Um, mostly it's uneventful. Uh, in the morning, you know, there's birds and whatever. It's a forest after all. Morning, and the wolf ready. did not turn into a human being. Uh, yep. the, the wolf did not turn into a human being. It is not a reverse werewolf, at least for this phase okay. of the moon. Because <laughs> okay. I, I know yeah. for a fact my wolf was a werewolf. I can tell and I, by the eyes. I kill one of the birds. <laughs> what was that, Arcadius? And I kill one of the birds. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you, you can try. Breakfast bird. All right. Oh, I never had it. My inventory. Oh, as as the these birds are particularly small, I'll say they're a DC 16 to hit. If you want to try and crossbow one. Fuck. <laughs> Is it morning time or? Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be. It's it's morning time now. So I get my HP back, correct? You do. This is a long rest, so you get all your spell slots back. All your health is restored. Can I try to go like spear fishing with a, a javelin? Uh, sure. You can roll me a survival check. Okay, you do manage to snag a couple of fish. Uh, they seem to be bottom feeders. This doesn't seem to be a very well populated. Oh, there's a nice crossbow bolt case. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dang, no. okay, it is. Wow. <laughs> he it menaces me with his... <laughs> it menaces with spikes of onyx. Uh, no, um, <laughs> that explains why I was like, why ain't it letting me fucking fire the crossbow? <laughs> I was thinking it was a light crossbow. So you do, you, you do manage. You know to... what a bird is. <laughs> you do manage to to catch a, f a few fish. They seem to be bottom feeders, though. They're not really well suited to eating. Um, you'd be able to cook up maybe something, some usable part of the the fish there. Uh, but it's not going to be particularly great. Again. It won't poison you, but it's not. Uh, it's I not didn't great. even fucking roll anything. It's not you a the, fucking rock. You rolled, a, it you rolled the damage for the crossbow. You need to roll the to hit for the crossbow. If, so I know. So it in your yeah, actions yeah. section, um, on your D and D Beyond uh, uh, character it, sheet, there should be a little crossbow or like little. There you go. Hey, Eighteen. You did no, hit. Boom. A bird, and as a bird probably is not buff as fuck, it does not have more than like two hit points. So you manage to oh! totally skewer that bird. Man, that, that the bird was armored birds. That bird was swole. It's like okay, it casts magic missile. All right, so you. you yeah, you, you kill a bird, you manage to to, uh, to cook it up. The wolf is uh, staring hungrily across the uh, the uh, little thing there saying, Ooh, man, I wish I could have some of that sweet, sweet bird. It smells sure super good. Way better than the over. fish over here. I'm going to swim on over. Oh, I was going to throw my fish at the wolf. What a just not like fish. You, just you, just <laughs> you throw the fish at the wolf, it just lands on its face and it kind of slides off and it's like, no, 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 bird. I like I bird. Know, he definitely wants the bird more than the fish. <laughs> <laughs> How looting so to. Wolf... Okay, okay, does the wolf not understand? Like... Don't forget Boromir, you're, you should be healed too. Like, can he understand? Mm -hmm. uh, the, bird, the, the wolf does not understand common, no. 
but the wolf understands like he he understands he understands bird smell so he's he rushes over and he snatches the bird out of your hand and eats it (laughs) kind of rips it rips it apart and eats it fuck himself you, you you don't you don't manage to get any part of that bird. It's just like Fucking oh. better hunt another one then. Don't worry about it, buddy. We're starting to get a little fat in the thighs there, <laughs> darling. Darla. And now would would the wolf be able to be like tamed like to understand certain you know, few common words to be able to react to those common words? Yeah, you you can probably train it given enough time, but right now you're kind of on a mission, so I'm not gonna allow yeah, you yeah, to yeah. try to tame it overnight or something like that. Okay, uh, so you guys head on over to where the uh, where the wolf is leading to you, or, or leading you to. Where did wolf go? Wolf, come back. Wolf's on the island now. Give me one second here. <gasps> Wait. I guess that wouldn't work. Never mind. Don't worry, you still need to heal yourself a bit. You're only see an update on your thing. I'm gonna be right back. I gotta pee. Ah. Alrighty. Anyone else need to use the restroom? Now is a good time. Nope. Okay. Okay. So how broke? By the way. How? Uh, I missed that. How what? How broken was? Up. I think he's asking about the instrument, but he's uh, you're cutting out like every other word. So just if I how to fix your cutout, it's. Most likely the scored canceling you out. If you actually go into your settings and turn off the automatically adjust and then just set up the uh, um, level. I actually don't eat. I didn't hear, I didn't hear any of that. How's that? Say something again. You need, you need to like do a full sentence or something. I said I didn't even have the automatic thing on. Can you set the sensitivity up then? You might want to just put your mic a bit closer to your mouth. Or that too. Dang, cheap plastic (laughs) canade. So you were asking uh, how badly damaged is the loot? Is that right? Yeah, I was asking like how badly was the loot damaged? Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty smashed up. Um, it's probably just cheaper to buy a new loot than it is to carry around that one. So, it's it's oh, it's of loot. it's of goblin quality. So goblins are not well known for their craftsmanship. So, so I couldn't just use mending to make the loot fixed. You could, but it would be very out of tune. Is it in tune to begin with? It, it was not in tune to begin with. So you would, you would actually fix it perfectly, but it's perfectly according to a goblin, so... Well, maybe we can charm the goblins with some loot playing. I mean, you can try. I don't, I'm not very charismatic, but maybe Icarus can do all the talking while I'll just stand in the background playing a fucking heavy metal loot. Fucking loot here. A heavy here. metal loot. My dad goes on. Yeah. Our band is the Motley Loot. <laughs> Motley Loot. I'm still here. One second. Uh, okay. It's a perfect plan. And then while we're doing that, Dakaris mm. can miss a firebolt and set their whole camp on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect distraction. Oh, it looks like Cryptix has got the old Montana sunset in the background there. It's a beautiful night in Montana. Yeehaw. Sun setting. Cattle's roaming. Sheeps are sheeping. Is that just a green screen, or is it actually like? Looks like a green screen. Oh, oh now it's a dark green screen. It's 
green screen with no chroma key. It's a All green right, screen with a shadow. <laughs> Mort was talking smack about you, Cryptic. Oh. I, thought, I thought you had a beautiful Montana sunset in the background. <laughs> It's right. very beautiful, Montana. Sunset. Montana's very green. Anna Montana. You know, yeah, especially when she has J's on her feet. What the fuck? So you guys uh, follow the wolf to where it was leading you, which is the goblin encampment. Um, welcome to the goblin encampment, I suppose. The wolf says, I'm going to leave because I don't want to... Uh, you know, endanger any of my wolf brethren. Bye. If it can get the fuck out of here, wolf. Get the, get the fuck out. He doesn't actually want to leave us, guys. Yep, yep we've convinced him to stay. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I have a feeling we'll see him again. Oh, I'll break his... Wink, wink, wink. Or are you having a stroke? No, he's <laughs> he's he's ever seizing out over in the corner. <laughs> All right, it's like the crack of dawn, like it, it it's pretty early in the morning. Um, for some reason, you don't see any goblins around. For some reason, who knows? God, they're there sleeping. Be any reason at all? Look what I got. Um, as we're just discussing... Like, Thunderclap! No. <laughs> I, I, I pull out the skin that's probably been a couple days, uh, been a days or so, overnight or so, so it's dry. And I fit myself into it. Alrighty. Go ahead and give me a, um, I guess that would be a stealth check. So I'll check. fall over. <laughs> Alright. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. You feel very well disguised. There's no way anyone could tell you from anything other than a goblin. According to you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys think I look good? You put it on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> the stitching is right in my face. <laughs> the supplies to make this. <laughs> you can see the zipper. <laughs> <laughs> Could I do a perception to see if we can spot any reason why there's no activity? Like, see if something had happened? Uh, sure. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Seventeen. That's pretty yeah. good. So you, you do see that there is uh, there's some sort of like uh, recently moved dirt here in the center, right about here. Okay. I don't know if you can. Oh, yeah, God, it's honor. Yeah. Um, you suspect that maybe there was you know some, something done there recently. Um, you're not exactly sure what. It just looks like some dirt has been moved around in that particular location. Okay. So guys, said uh, up ahead, there's a odd dirt pile between all the huts over there in the center. Can we see? Do you think it's a net or something, or like a trap? Like one of those Looney Tunes stick. kind of traps with like leaves over it. <laughs> can, we, can we see this? This this building, this hut. Which one? Uh, uh the this... one in the far. Click, click, like... click, and hold on it so it produces a a ping. That one. Okay, oh, that one. That one. You know, like you can see from far away, it's definitely the tallest of the of the huts there. Guys, I um, think the chieftain is in that one. You're saying that would be like the Jabba of the huts? Yeah, can we? Yes. Can exactly. We, should we try and set the Jabba of the huts on fire? Someone sick to car is on it. <laughs> We're on a rescue <laughs> mission. What if, the, what if our woman's in there? Uh, they said... We need her. She's money. Alive, so if I know Takara's very well, Takara, shoot a fire at the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I think we do a 
<laughs> See now, big four. brain time, big fucking brain time. So what what's going on? I was gonna see you about if I could, you know, we do a stealth check before we start moving or doing anything. Just uh, try to be a bit more stealthy going in. Uh, sh I mean, are you going in by yourself or are you going in with everybody? Well, it's more when when we're all moving in. Okay. I have an idea. No. Well, I'll go check out that. <clears throat> Since I am already disguised, or I think I'm disguised enough. Why don't I just pull up the scimitar and just walk in? If anything happens, you guys can rush or not to save me. Yeah. I'd also point out where the dirt spot was, just to make sure the everyone else is aware of it. That's right about here. Dirt spot. Yeah, it's well, a I big, see this idea as being hundred percent successful. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and uh, Boromir, if you want to give me a stealth check. It's going to be a one. I assume I'm you're still wearing your armor and everything, so. Yeah, but now that he's in town. I think the first six was how the costume looks. The six is for his stealth in the. That's what I'm saying. Try better than a six. We're going to be okay. <laughs> okay give, me, give me just a moment here. Oh, sure. Boromir, you're still hurt, by the way. Am I really? How will I fix that? Yeah. Oh, right here. Up to, up, uh, change your number. Change your green circle number. There you go. Okay. Didn't want you getting accidentally killed before your time. <laughs> <laughs> so, a, uh, you seem to have made a little bit of noise, and a goblin comes out, and he's like, Ah! Oh. As goblins often say, classic goblin, you know, greeting. It repeated back to him verbatim. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, the sim tie, and I kind of look back at you guys like, so but. <laughs> what did you, you say about it. my mother? <laughs> Give me a D100 luck check. <laughs> you're trying to roll low. So you're trying to roll low on this D100 luck check. So you're going to type in on roll 20 slash R, which is for roll base 1D100. Oof. Oh, that's not low. Damn. That is not low. <laughs> that time We're about to lose our midget. <laughs> so this, this, this goblin is going to immediately shoot at you. <laughs> what did you say to him? He manages, he manages to miss. Thanks to your ridiculously high armor off. class. At, at, as you as you as you dodge out of the way of the goblin, your goblin mask just kind of slides off your face. <laughs> your face a little is bit covered in, blood. covered in goblin blood. Yeah, I uh, drenched it in water. He yells out, oh, no, 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 no. and uh, you hear stirring <laughs> from uh, from several huts nearby. Oh shit! I turned back and said, "I think you said Aloha snack bar." <laughs> All right, which means it is combat time. So, like, no, no Joker Hunter, my bomb phrase is Aloha. <laughs> Wahoo, it's the airplane. They have the. Wait, are you still in Hawaii? No, no, I'm in Texas. Just now. I thought you had moved out of Hawaii. Yeah, I was in Hawaii for 13 years. Do you feed anything to any volcanoes while you were there? Small children. I'm assuming we're doing initiatives. Yeah, you should roll initiative now. As that Ooh. is what we're doing. Ooh. Oh my god. 
god. Solid. Oh my god. Solid initiative, Mort. <laughs> Is that everybody? Wait, One, two, three, four. More for using combat each turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like real life. <laughs> He's like, God, where'd you go? <laughs> There's nothing's even Enemies. going down yet. Now we're chasing butterflies. <laughs> oh, look, a pretty rainbow. <laughs> Give me just a moment. That you guys don't collect cool things like rocks. <laughs> Or feed them the wolves. <laughs> My grandma once told me they're called geodes. <laughs> mm. Ladybugs? <laughs> <laughs> Your grandma was a smart lady. I wish I had known her aside from her uh, being chained up bones in her shed. I wish Still you haven't washed the uh, bone ash off your forehead. That's... Yeah, but that, sim that symbolizes friendship. Alrighty. So, you hear a scream coming from this general direction over here, somewhere in uh, this direction. I'm not seeing it. Uh, it definitely does not sound like a goblin. It sounds it like uh, some sort of... Which direction? Perhaps uh, this direction, this way, somewhere over here. Wherever you're marking, it's not showing up. Yeah. You see my cursor? No. 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 Usually okay. I see your pings, but I'm not seeing it this time. Okay. I've got the so whole so thing. Somewhere, minimized. somewhere in this direction, somewhere over here. You can't, you can't really tell where. Somewhere in the north end of the camp. Okay, that helps. I'm, I'm gonna assume you mean somewhere over here. Yeah, so, right somewhere. Right. Some, yeah, in the north end of the camp somewhere. Okay. You hear a yeah, scream. Where, wherever you're pinging, it wasn't working. Just here. Did you guys hear the scream? Yes. Uh, Mona, you are first up. Let's see, how far away is this fuck? Good Boy, distance. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. I can't do math, so I'm just going to move up to about here. And then uh, I'm going to. That seems fine. Then, I guess, and let's bow and arrow this bitch. Alrighty. And boop. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> We're uh, on top just... of these rolls. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the, uh, the bolt just uh, flies through into nothing. It lands in this campfire over here. And just uh, burns. Ah, oh, but it was an explosive bolt. <laughs> the uh, campfire crackles unconvincingly. Can I and then the campfire's disappointed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and the He's wind right. whispers. Uh, I wanted. Fuck. Excuse me, I wanted to explode. Like, why didn't I explode? <laughs> All right, Boromir, it's your turn. All right. Um. Um, uh, can I go ahead and try and go into this building right here? This hut. Uh, yeah. So you uh you reach open and open the flap up on that hut, and if you give me just a second, Oops. fucking kill these there, kids. There is a goblin inside, and he is uh busy grabbing his crossbow and his scimitar and getting it on. Uh, I'm gonna on. <laughs> try and lunge forward and stab him with the sword. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. That is a mist. He manages to use his belt as he's putting it on to deflect your sword somehow. Ninja. It is, strong ass it's, belt. Yeah, it's, it's really strong. You you cut right through it because it's goblin quality, but he doesn't really need it. He's now uh, very angry at you with his ding dong hanging out. <laughs> oh no! <Whoa. laughs> Run for me, dude! I know how to resolve the situation. Put it away, or I'm gonna cut it off. <laughs> what up, you be? Uh, Lalinthia, it is your turn. Is the goblin's dick bigger? <laughs> no. 
There. Uh, I'm gonna try to hit a just uh, to guess box of one up here, the original one. Okay. Uh, with a uh, Eldritch Blast. Sure. I fucking knew it. Oh, I know that box. Oh, <laughs> I know that box. <laughs> uh, that is definitely a hit, and that is enough damage to send the goblin sprawling back a few feet, and he is dead. Okay. Very nice. It is these goblins' turn. Okay. So that's that one, that one. It's his turn? It is the goblin's turn. The tent goblin? Or just all goblins? All crossbow all goblins. goblins. Gotcha. Okay, so this guy walks out and he sees uh, Lalinthia over here. He's going to take a shot at Lalinthia as the first person he sees here. Uh, he's definitely in range. And he rolls a... That's enough. So he does six, uh, seven damage to Lalinthia. So crossbow bolt shoots out at you from the west. West side? Hits you in in the in the quads. Dang! Right in the quads. For, Oof. For seven damage. Oof. And then he backs behind this tent, and you can't see him anymore. Invisible. He's not invisible. He's just hiding behind. Yeah, him. he's invisible. This whole day just keeps getting worse. Uh, <laughs> this goblin runs out. Uh, sees Boromir there and will shoot at Boromir. Uh, and he hits for five damage. Ooh. He got a pretty lucky shot. You see him duck behind there. Fucking these goblins are smarter than you'd think goblins would be. And then he hides. I feel about that. I like my goblins stupid. This goblin drops his short bow and tries to swing at Boromir with his uh, sword that he has lying nearby, and he misses. He's too busy trying to put on his pants uh, to, <laughs> to I aim about correctly. That. Cover his ding dong. <laughs> Dakaris, it is your turn. Who am I fighting? Uh, whoever you can. You can't see this goblin inside. here. Uh -huh. This goblin is inside of a tent. Okay. I just Burn blow the up tent the tent down. with fire. Yeah. I mean, you can shoot the tent with a firebolt and probably catch it on fire. It's. It looks rather fam rather flammable. All right, let's do it. Why well, she's gonna miss and set another <laughs> tent on fire? <laughs> hey, that's, every that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hit uh, the broad. You're on fire. I, I would say it's like a DC eight to hit the the tent. Okay, so you do catch the uh, tent on Damage. fire with a spark. <laughs> <laughs> the usual. Give me just a moment. There you go. It's on fire. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Holy shit, there's a dinosaur footprint. Guys, we have a whole new mission now. <laughs> <laughs> do 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 Someone cool. Jurassic Park being melodic. <laughs> are you going to move up at all, Dakaris, or are you staying where you're at? I'll move up a little further. Okay. Alrighty, it is now uh, some more goblins turns. That one, that one. More. Yep. The crossbow ones are 12, so he's putting another one in. And how great would it have been if we could have been through this place stealthy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No mask. You had everything. You literally had goblin skin. And you failed. How do you put on a <laughs> goblin skin suit backwards? <laughs> holes. Literally, there were eye holes in the front. How do you miss the eye holes? 
I didn't have a zipper. <sighs> oh, you. That's a very mobile the goblin. Yeah, he's uh, he's taking ass. a dash action, so. Oh, okay, I was going to say. He's but not going to attack this turn. So he would probably hear his name, ding, 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 We attacked, I'd call bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking runs 200 feet, he's like, yo, Dag like this dagger. I know, they're incredibly smart, and now they're also incredibly athletic. These goblins have been working out. They're after my nuts. You're nuts. These goblins are fucking Usain Bolt. <laughs> You just see what's in their hands? Those are not swords, those are their hands, just straight sprinting. <laughs> this frickin' Baraka from Mortal Kombat? <laughs> okay. I get to go uh, now. Rock and roll it. Well, yeah, you rolled a one for initiative, so you get last. <laughs> Here you go. I always thought that if you rolled one in initiative, you had to wait till next Six. turn. No. Um... Right there? I rolled Hold on. one. I should have been number one. That was give six. Me, that was six. Give me a dexterity save. That is not enough. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, it Remember was that, that dirt close? That I pointed Shit, out? I thought it was a. I thought it was one more up. So you're going to take one d six and falling damage. It's not a very. It's not a particularly large pit. Um, they couldn't dig that deep without hitting. Uh... Are there spikes in the bottom? There are no spikes. There are rats, however. So you take one damage in one falling damage. damage. <laughs> Delicious rats. The sides of this uh, pit are actually covered in uh, like animal blood and just other kinds of. What the hell? I've always changed my health. Liquids. You should have. Uh, but there are rats in there, and it's about a 10 foot deep pit, so you can't just jump out. You don't. I don't know. Uh, you're, he's like, you're not. He's like, and end up on his tiptoes. Or just the <laughs> ledge. 299, remember? I could just pull an arm up and just yank myself out. I'm huge. Okay. Uh, the curse is dead. It, you're, you're not quite <laughs> tall enough to reach the very top. I'm gonna say. I think Shaq could do that. Shaq's about that tall. <laughs> Shaq's. Shaq can also jump good. Shaq's also not wearing fucking plate armor. <laughs> like... He also falls on his back. I don't do kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> if you if oh, you, you want to get... get naked and 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 strip your plate armor off, then I'm. I, you, yeah, I'll let you jump up. What's that I gonna mean... do to my defense? Well, your armor class is gonna go uh, just straight down. Like, down, like, oh my god, the Dow is just, it's dropping. What? Oh no, it's a free fall in the market. Oh, sell, sell, sell. Like, that's... <laughs> Alright. Do the slow the climb. climb. Okay. Aaron Carter. So I'll say that's an action to climb. I'll say it's a DC uh, 14 to climb up. Um, so go ahead and give me a athletics check. <laughs> Don't make it like your... <laughs> Perfect. So you do manage to get to the the top there, but that does use your action for the turn. That way. Wouldn't it have made more sense for me to climb out over here? I mean, if you want to climb out over there, that's fine. Then, then I'm the line of sight. And these guys, these goblins will be coming at me. Okay. Human Next. shield, baby. Uh, next, it is this guy's turn. Yeah. Oh, that go goblin's doing a flying. Why? Damn, he's got a he's got a fucking he's got a guitar. Uh, guitar. Super he's awesome got a mohawk. He looks like Rufio. <laughs> Rufio. 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 I don't get that reference. <laughs> oh, you fucking youngsters! Goddamn youngsters! So this guy runs out and he shoots uh, at Mort with a guitar as he's getting up. He misses. Shoots at him with a guitar. And then you you hear him say something. Bark, 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 bark. And then this goblin right in front of you glows a uh, a sickly green color. Oh God, it's the he sounds like he means business. Uh, where is? 
Where's the little symbol for that? Uh, then it's Mona's turn. Okay, I'm gonna trying to find the symbol. Run up to about here. Sure. <clears throat> I think that's right. A guiding bolt at him. The guitar one. You got it. Uh, well, let's see if Nothing I actually. Anyway. Dun, 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 do, 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 do. Why? Why? So many dice. <laughs> that is a miss. And a nine. I Clearly didn't have enough dice on the screen. Right. Some sometimes you're just unlucky. It's a part of the I game. Have, I, I think I've hit. I mean, if you feel I'm bad, done. think of how Dakaris <laughs> feels, who's never hit with an attack ever. So. <laughs> that's not true. Just landed an attack. That's true. Yeah, but that was on the side of a barn, literally. Okay, like. Building. I mean, that's not even. <laughs> he could have closed his eyes and done that. <clears throat> All right, uh, Boromir, it is your turn. There's a goblin in the tent in front of you, and that tent is on fire, and that goblin is like looking to fucking leave. <laughs> um, how on fire is that tent? Um, it's relatively on fire. You think in another turn it would start actually being very dangerous for that goblin to be in there. Okay. Kick it in the out. flaps of the tent are, <laughs> like, leather, so they're relatively strong. If you were to be able to secure it in there, the goblin would probably burn to death. Um. Decorous. Hold on. Everybody quiet for a second. <laughs> Oh. A cat. I thought he was snoring. <laughs> oh my god, that's some burn. Alright. <laughs> right. You guys are happy kitty. <laughs> Boomer so, I have the option to either A, try and... Um, by royal decree, only things that should burn are the ones that are dead. I'm going to try and grab him and try and save him, not knowing that pit's behind me, but flip him over my shoulder and accidentally flip him into the pit. Okay, um, let's hear. That is a. I would consider that a shove attack. Uh, That's some out of the box thinking. Out of the box. Like the four rats at the okay. bottom. <laughs> so I would say give me an attack roll. So the attack roll is going to be a 1d20 plus 3. Oh, it's 9. So nine. So that is a miss. You managed to grab hold of him, but all you managed to do is kind of shake him before you like karate undoes whatever you're doing. <laughs> he steps back. Is that what he does? He moves my hand away and steps back further into the burning tent. Like a dumbass. He, he doesn't. He doesn't listening. step back. He just he kind of like karate undoes. Yeah, he karate undoes. He oh, so he just like swipes your hands aside. <laughs> Stop, stay away, you're too close. Okay, anything else you want to do? Um, He does have a scimitar in hand, even though he's clearly holding a crossbow in the picture. So uh, if you do try and step away from him, he will get an attack of opportunity on you. So that was obviously my action, so I can't try and just close the flap then? Uh, you can use your bonus action and item interaction to try and close the flap. Uh, that would be fine. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to try and just close the flap. Okay, oh, really? So you, close the flap. You latch the flap out really quick. It, it, you didn't take your whole action to do it, so it's probably not as strong as you would hope, but it'll hopefully keep him in there. Imagine Did you want to move? He it. can't attack you now, so he, you're free of opportunity attacks if you want to move. No. I'm, I'm imagining you seeing her hitting the closed door button on the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Uh Lilinthia, it is your turn. Alright. I am going to so I can do an action and then movement afterwards, right? Yeah, you, you have thirty feet of movement to, to spend and you can spend it in any way you wish. Then so I'm you can to... move five feet, attack, and then move twenty five feet or any combination of that so i will use my burning hands on since it's a cone in front of me i can go up to 15 feet i'll aim it for the goblin slash the tents here so kind of like 
in this area. Is it a cone, really? Yeah, Barney Hands says it's a cone. Crazy. Right. Let me okay. take a look. So you think he has to make a dexterity save? Yeah, give me just a moment here. Oh, it is a cone from cell 15 feet. That's neat. Okay, dexterity save. Uh, he does make the dexterity save. So it's only half the damage. Okay, so that would be what five damage? I think it's rounded down. Probably rounded down. Say so yeah, five. Okay. And sets burning, I think, or on fire or whatever. Uh, don't figured out approximately how much health these things have. Is it 10? I think it's no, right around it 10, yeah. Yeah, it's about right 10. Around 10. <clears throat> uh, let me see. The fire ignites any flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn. So 15 feet would be there, so this tent is now on fire. Oops. So you've started a fire on that tent there. And that you guy might actually is... kill this lady, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully she's okay. in the big tent. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, next is the oh, can I goblin. Do my movement? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can do your movement for sure. So 30. Where did you go? Oh, you went just back there? Okay. Cool. Yeah. This, I, I don't want to get hit by another crossbow bolt. I don't have that much health. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba. So it's the crossbow goblin's turn. So this crossbow Many goblin. Many of them. They're, they're goblins. Uh, this crossbow goblin is going to go into here, and you're going to see him roll into this pit before he disappears back to uh, invisibility. Status. Unknown. You don't know where he's at. But he jumps into hmm. the pit. Okay. And then uh, this goblin over here is going to... Back was I supposed layer. to use the pact slot when I used my attack? What's that? Was I supposed to use the pact slot when I used that attack? Which attack? Uh, when I used burning hands. Um, yes, that would have been one of your level one spells. Okay. So, so you have one more level one spell left. Uh, anyways, this guy is going to dash out of here and he's going to shoot uh mort in the face because he's the closest dude he can see oh my beautiful face oh he does hit you for six damage face and then he ducks back behind that uh tent there so you can't see him anymore is there any more of these dudes I don't think so. <clears throat> okay. So next is these guys' turn. Is that Dakarius' turn? Oh, another wolf. It wolves. is not. Yes, it is the wolf's turn. So this wolf oh, rushes so out scary. from this little pit over here. And he comes snarling at uh, Rock and Roller there. Then it's Dakaris' turn. Would I be better off going after this guy or this guy? Well, this guy is very injured, so yeah. you're likely to kill him. He is wounded. Okay, that's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to do Firebolt. <clears throat> I figure All the worst right. that could happen is I burned out another freaking tent. So from where you're at, you cannot see him, so you'll need to move at yeah, least one space forward. Okay. How's that? All right. Uh, 
22, that is a hit for one fire spark. (laughs) Tink. (laughs) Wow. You singed the knee. Yeah, you you singed him right in the knee. He used to be an adventurer like you until he took a fireball to the knee. (laughs) Then he was very uh, burnt goblin. Probably Remember, Dakaris, you have level one spells you can use. I think you have like three slots now. So okay. you do have three uses of that that are, uh, if you use magic missile, are guaranteed to hit and do at least six damage. Okay. So could be useful. Not that he's sensing anything or not. <laughs> would, you, would you like to move anymore? I uh, know, I'm good. All righty. Next is the goblins with knives turn. Uh, goblins boys. with yeah the stabby boys as they're like they like to be called uh this stabby boy is actually going to move up one space and he is going to attempt a shove attack <laughs> to try and shove mona into the pit uh let me remind myself what shove does okay so they roll an athletics check, and it's contested by an athletics or acrobatics check. So Mona, you can roll an athletics or a acrobatics check in order to try and stop this, which you probably should. That's fantastic. <laughs> athletics roll you got there. <laughs> uh, they do not have. They do not have athletics as a skill, so they have a negative one roll and they have a natural 20 so they do manage oh my to God. push you she into the pit pass the pin <laughs> bounces off the yeah, really. tonight. I'm so fucking okay. done <laughs> you're good I've you take 1d6 damage anything. from the 10 foot fall roll the dice damn it roll the dice so you take 5 damage from falling into the pit Ooh. oh and I almost take max damage from it too, man. Just fucking great. Yes. You're, you're doing great. <laughs> okay. Uh, this goblin is going to run over here and then try and throw Dakaris into the pit. So Dakaris, you likewise should make a acrobatics or athletics check, whichever you have as a better option. Uh, let's see. They rolled a 17, so you better roll pretty good. Shit. Well, one's negative one, so definitely going to be acrobatic, which is plus zero. Uh, What'd you get? A ten. Nope. They throw you into the pit as well. R1D6. You also take five damage from the fall. Okay. This uh, goblin here is also going to try and throw Rock and Rolla into the pit. <laughs> that is pretty sorry, right. I fit in the pit. And he got a natural oh, no, 20, so he's a 19. What? Versus a 19 oh. means you, I'm going to say you succeed. Uh, except that, you know, remember when he was sickly green and how that was kind of weird? So he's going to roll an extra 1d6, which means he's going to push you into the pit, too. And then five damage there. Why do I keep five? rolling five? I don't know. That is retarded. So you take five he's damage as well. And pasting, Stop guys. Just rolling so good. <laughs> I, I can't help it. Okay. So that was that guy's turn, that guy's turn, that guy's turn. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. This guy is going to move over here. And I think that is all of that goblin's turn. Mort, it is your turn. Uh, You're in the pit the with hole. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jay? How are you doing? We're just, as you can see, uh, we're all stuck in the pit. Um... I, I, what do I need to do? An athletics check to get out of the pit? Uh, an athletics check to get out of the pit. Um, I'm going to assume they're helping you out of the pit. So I'm actually going to give you advantage. And I believe it was a... What was it? Do you guys remember? 15. It was like a 14? 15? I think it was 15. All right. So 15, but you roll twice. So you get to roll one more time. 
20. So you're, you're out of the pit. Where, Which side of, of the, the pit, pit do you want to end up on? I want to end up... Uh, you can't end and... here because there's a goblin here. He would just push you back down. Right there. I'll let you do that. Okay. The, the wolf doesn't push you down. <laughs> so that was an yeah. action yeah, to was, move that's up what I there. The wolf is not going to do. <laughs> you still have a move, though. So I would probably suggest you move here instead. So you can move maybe away from the pit? Question mark? Oof. I can only move two steps? No, you, you can move up to your movement speed. Your action was climbing up, but you still have your movement speed to move. Oh. Um... I'm just saying you might want to climb up on this side so you don't take an attack of opportunity moving away from the wolf if you're trying to get away from the pit. Well, where's your end goal? I think it should be the question. Okay, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's perfectly fine. Do you have any ranged options? You want to do any ranged things? Uh... What the hell is that noise? It's <laughs> my dog whining. She wants to go out. She's just sitting here staring That's at your me. That's your dog. Whining at me. <laughs> Alcadius, shut up over there. <laughs> my light hammer attack, which is a range of 20? No, your light hammer is a range of 5 feet, which is right next to you because it's a hammer. Unless you're throwing the hammer. Huh? Light hammer is 20 range. No, no. Yeah, if you're throwing no. the hammer. Are you throwing your hammer at someone? Wait, that's... Oh, wait, that goblin's dead. Never mind. Hold on. One, two, three. Never mind. There, that dude's not close enough. Um. Actually, you, you can't even attack right now because your action was getting out of the pit. I don't have anything I want to do. You have, a, you have a bonus action if you want to do it. Yeah, there's, there's nothing I want to do. Okay. So this guy is going to move back a bit, and he's going to shoot at you. Uh, boop, boop. Let's see. He misses. Mona, it's your turn. I'll try to jump out of the hole. Oh. This guy no longer has this greenly aura. So again, since someone else is with you, I assume that they're trying to help you out of the hole. So you can do an uh, athletics check, uh, but you can get advantage on it. And it's a 15 to get out. Perfect. So you can show up on any of the sides of the square that you want. Okay. And then I'll come up here. All righty. I'll pretend you got out on that side instead. That's fine. You don't have an action anymore because you used your action getting out of the hole, so you have a bonus action left if you want to use it. Just can't do anything good on my bonus actions. No, I can't. You have healing word if you want to heal somebody, I think. I don't think anyone needs it right now, so I'm good. I'll just hold. Alrighty. Uh, Boromir, it's your turn. How much I'm going up and... I'm going to try and run up, and I'm going to kick this guy, like, drop kick him into the pit. Okay. Uh, so that's a shove attack, so you're going to roll your athletics versus his athletics or his acrobatics. He's going to use acrobatics because goblins are more dexterous than athletics. So you're going to kick him into the pit with me? <laughs> <laughs> well, he is hurt. If he takes any, if he takes a five, like, he, they all the pit damage. No, he'll then, probably take uh, He'll die. So go ahead and make an athletics check. All right. So you failed to shove him into the pit. You rolled two. That's your action. Do you have a bonus action you'd like to use? Oh. Uh or would you like to move at all? He will get an attack of opportunity if you move away from him. No. Yeah, I'm going to move this way. So I move. Okay, so that... Uh, okay, so when you move away from him, he does get a... Oh, wait. You're not moving away from him? Mm -hmm. 
No, I was debating on sliding down the hill, and yeah, I'm gonna slide down the the pit so I can give the cars advan um, advantage to help them up. Okay, so you are also in the pit. Um, you will. It's pretty sheer, so you will take one d six of falling damage if you do so. Are you sure you want to do that? Yep, I'm a team player. Alrighty. Five damage. Uh, Damn! Jesus. Oh my god. It, it's it's my roll. Oh, I'm sorry. So it's six <laughs> anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so you take six damage falling down like, the pit. Holy shit. Guys, don't don't try to fall down the hole. It's not fun. <laughs> Stop taking damage intentionally. <laughs> All right, Lalinthia, it's your turn. All right, I will. I'm looking. That one's up there now. Move. There, I can still see this one. The that one, yes. Uh, yeah. I'll say you can see him, or if you want, I mean, you can wait until after you do something and then move in there. Well, it's... and if I did it from my initial spot, could I? If I'm gonna use Eldritch Blast on him. Yeah, you can if... Eldritch Blast and then move. You can oh, move and then Eldritch Blast. You can move if it doesn't do damage. If it just does a movement fart, would it angle him into the pit, or would it angle him this way? Well, Eldritch Blast doesn't move people, so it wouldn't move it him forcing. into the pit. It it does force damage, but oh, it doesn't damage. push. Okay. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Then, then, then it's just a matter. type of damage. I will just use the blast on him then. Go ahead and roll. I think I hit him. Yeah, I think you hit him. I think he's dead. <laughs> and I also think I gain health from that, by the way. It's temporary health, but I gain health from killing. Uh, put it in a different bar. So in the red bar, you'll put in your temporary health. And he is definitely dead. Oh, technically... I I nice. should have the other five as well from the first one because I killed the first one, right? Um, I How don't long does remember. temporary health last? Uh, it lasts until a short rest, I believe. I'm not sure. It it would definitely last until the end of the encounter, okay, or so it I lasts until another... it says it ends. Uh, I you, when you the five so, the two, so so the the way temporary health works is any temporary health you get overrides any temporary health you already have. So if you had five from the last one and then you got five from this one, you would still just have five temporary health. If but you had then three from the last one and then you got five. Would the damage from this one? Um, or did yes, I it, max out? It would have, but I I don't like going back in time to fix things. So I'm no, gonna no, say no, no, that's fine. Just so I know for a future. Yeah, yeah. So okay. it, it, it would have like gone down and then you would have gained it back and then you would be fine. But okay. in this particular case, I'm not going to let you like yeah, no worries. No, I just wasn't sure how that mechanic worked. Yep. So I'm at yep. temporarily uh, 15 health. Yep. So we'll um, put his and then... zero in there so we can see that. And we'll make sure that everyone can see that. Like that. All right. Is there still a goblin that one ten? And I'll fire? do that one <laughs> movement to right there. Okay. Uh, so this goblin, uh, it's now the crossbow goblin's turn, which I believe, uh, I can only see one, which is the guy in the, oh, no, no, there's two, there's two. There's so there's the guy in, there should be there's... three crossbow goblins, by the way. Is there three? The tent one, the one that's up here, and then the one that ran through here. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is that guy, okay. Uh, we'll go with this guy first. So this guy is going to attempt to escape. I'm going to say he needs a, a DC 15 to get out of this tent. He actually succeeds because apparently I'm a boss at rolling does. when I'm not a player. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 16, so he's he barely got out. Uh, he runs out. He's kind of on fire. He he like looks around. He's He's a little bit discombobulated from the smoke. I'll even say that he is prone, uh, just coughing on the floor, trying to catch his breath. So he's not going to take a turn. Uh, but he manages to escape. Uh, this goblin over here, being the master tactician that he is, jumps out. 
and doesn't see anybody super close, so he's going to venture out a little bit further. Uh, he'll see Mona here, and he's going to shoot Mona. Uh, he misses. And then he's going to continue trying to run over here. He doesn't have... He doesn't see Mort behind the thing over here, so he thinks this is a probably safe place to go. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the the uh, goblin over in this direction, you don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. Hey, guess what, guys? There's another wolf over here. Badass. He's been let free. Six, one, two, three, four, hey five. Guys, I think I know what that other goblin's doing. <laughs> uh, Mort, give me a perception Where? check. <laughs> All right. Mort, you recognize this wolf. He's very familiar to you. He's got a very nice tuft of white, puffy poofiness. The diamond shape chest. right underneath the chin it, it, down to the it, chest. It, Yep, it's it's that it's that wolf. You know it's that wolf. You've seen it before. <gasps> Anyways, Zacharis, it's your turn. Can I use mold earth beneath me and fill in this stupid pit? I'll say yes. All right, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so that'll bring you five feet up because I believe it mold earth gives you lets you mold five feet of earth, right? Uh, is that right? Range is 30 feet, area is 5 feet. 5 feet, yeah. Yep. I believe it's 5 feet of earth. So if you want, I'll let you pick a direction on this like little square here, and you'll basically pull that 5 feet of earth down to create a little bit of a ramp to make it easy to get up. I would say to the left. So right here? Okay. All right. Mm. Uh, okay. Click me first. It's me. So you mold uh, this into like a perfect staircase with how awesome you are. All right, does the roll so that's anything? That's gonna be. You don't have to roll anything. That's your action, but okay. you can now take your movement and your bonus action if you have them. So that's two spaces. Okay. You have four more spaces you can move. Ooh. Uh. Oh, he's got a crossbow. Um. Hmm. Uh. Reading about right there, eh? Uh, that's probably fine. Although one, uh, one, two, three, four. You can move uh to here if you want and get out of range of this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Probably be a good good idea. Okay. Uh, it's now the uh, daggery gobble, yeah, dagger boys, <laughs> stabby boys. <laughs> uh, this stabby boy here is gonna move here and attack uh, Olympia with a daggery daggers, and he hits for three damage. This one here next to Mona is just going to attack Mona. And he hits for five damage. Uh, let's see here. Are there any more daggery daggery boys? <laughs> okay. That guy's dead. I think it's just this guy, right? Yeah. All right. Well, he, he sees fresh meat. And he actually misses. All right. Mort, it's your go. There's something important happening here. <laughs> <laughs> We've been looking for this wolf for three days, ever since I let it out of the cave. I am going to get down on my knees, pull all the beef jerky out of my pockets, hand it forward, and try to find out if this is my wolf. I have a really good feeling that it's my wolf. Give me an animal handling check with advantage which means you can hold shift and click on it and it'll roll twice for you. Uh, 
Alrighty, so that's a 15. Uh, so you handed some some trail rations you have on handy. It's not the best food, but you can see in its eyes that it does recognize you as the person that released it from the other goblins. <laughs> um, you hope that means that it won't attack you. Coffee, where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's Leader Goblin's turn. Leader Goblin is going to move over here and shoot at you, Mort, because you're the first person in its line of sight. David and Company, protect me. It, it misses. <laughs> uh, and then it is going to play a tune on its little loot there, and you see this wolf glow a sickly green color. Oh, hell no. Mona, it's your turn. Uh, I guess I'll attack this goblin. Okay. Uh, mace. Go. Mace attack. 14. Okay, 14 does manage to hit that one for six damage. Nice. Okay. And let me make sure you guys can see that. There you go. And Anything else you'd like to do? For a bonus action, I'm going to cast a healing word. All right. On myself. So you heal for 10 life, 7 for the regular oh, healing yeah. word, and then plus 3 for your Disciple of Life bonus. Nice. So you're full health again. Boromir, it is your turn. Unless, Mona, you wanted to move. I assume you didn't want nope. to move. Two okay. attack for opportunities. <laughs> so, <laughs> can I attempt to crawl out in these steps? Yeah, yeah th those are pretty well-formed steps. It's it's. Uh, I'd say it's difficult terrain, maybe at best, but you, you should be able to climb up them. He made it into pretty good stair, like a pretty good staircase. So actually, it, no, no def difficult terrain. You can climb up those fine. All right. So you have three spots left you could move because you're a halfling and you have less walking speed than everybody else on account of you're short as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, like this way. One. Two, three. I'm just standing on top of this dead boy. All this right. dead boy right here. That's fine. You you can shove his corpse right on into the uh, pit there. <laughs> May the rats eat your... Oh, God. The pit moved. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Pit's alive. How did you cast? It's Guys, it's coming <laughs> after me! It's a sorrow. I've act. cast a move pit. <laughs> <laughs> Those really were teeth. <laughs> All right, Lilinthia, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to be attempting to blast. Well, no, you know what? I'm going to actually aim for this one here. Okay. Should be fine. Sixteen is a hit. Uh, you actually get advantage, so go ahead and roll one more time. Because he's prone. Oh right. Which only matters if you get a crit. So nope. Yeah. So you just he just takes the five. There you go. All right, it's crossbow people's turn. Uh, so this crossbow person is still trying to hide. So he's gonna move over here. He's going to move through his wolf friend. He's going to be very surprised that Mort is there and go, oh, fuck, run away. <laughs> Mort, you can have an attack of opportunity against him. He was speaking English. <laughs> he said, oh, I'm not going to get that, bud. <laughs> oh. We all know what that means. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, this paladin here. There must 14 be is enough to hit, it. so you do four damage to him. I'll show that to you guys later. One, two. And he's going to turn around and shoot you. 
I hits for eight damage, which is a maximum. <laughs> Holy shit! I am on fire. Yeah, you, you should don't. cool down a bit. <laughs> Rolls are on Take fire. Take it easy, soldier. <laughs> five, 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 six, five, eight. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, this goblin over here moves out of his little hole that he was in, releasing the wolves. Spins around and will shoot Mort as well. And misses. Uh, the cars. No, he does not hit the cars. Uh, this guy is going to stand up. He's going to look around at who looks the easiest to hit. Uh, he's going to aim for Boromir because he's short and closer. Stout. He misses. He's got three points of movement left. One, two, three. He's hiding behind... <laughs> <laughs> I'll shake it back here. <laughs> He's hiding behind this burning uh, hut here and tries to hide, but Mona can see him, so he doesn't. And I believe that's all of the crossbow dudes. So now it is the wolf's turn. Uh, this wolf over here is going to see Boromir. Two, three... Four or five, six. He's gonna run up and try and attack Boromir. Oh shit! Uh, he misses. Uh, this wolf over here, having seen the kindness of Mortimer, knowing him from setting him free earlier, is just going to run off into the distance. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four. Whoa, God. Oh God! He grew. Wow! Oh, <laughs> he's a werewolf. <laughs> he's a. He's beginning to change. <laughs> it's a werewolf. Dakaris, it is your turn. All right. Trying to decide. Oh, Mort, it. did you want to take an attack of opportunity there? No. Oh wait! Oh wait! You already <laughs> took an attack of opportunity. That's fine. All right. Go ahead, Dakaris. So I can either attack this guy, or I'm thinking maybe this guy. Or you could attack the one that's near me. I'll say, my mine has got yep. two on him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do or, that. or or you could use or magic wolf. missile, and you can attack up to three people, because it shoots three missiles. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So you have to choose before you roll damage. Uh, which, who are you attacking and with how many bolts? Because you have three missiles to shoot, so you can do one and like two at another person, or one, one, and one. So I'm thinking either this Ooh. one, like this guy and this guy. So you can't see these guys over here. I can move there, right? And you can move, yes. If I move like right here, get uh, air. Mm hmm. Do the. Hmm. Should I, if I attack three as opposed to two, do I do more damage if I do two instead of three? So each each missile you shoot is going to do, I think, 1d4 plus one. So okay. minimum of two, maximum of five. All right. So I guess I can go for these two guys, and then either this guy or that guy. What do you think? So I think probably killing, the dude by the fire. I think killing these two would be good because you will probably kill them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then one more just to wound them would be probably pretty good. Okay. Which, Let's do whichever that. one you want of these two. Okay, so we'll we'll do this guy first, this guy second, and then which one did you want to do for the third one? This one. That one. Okay, so go ahead and roll. Okay. Uh... So three to this guy, and then roll it again. Two to that guy, and then roll one more time for this guy. So five to that guy, okay. So this guy's dead, this guy's dead, and this nice. guy is injured. So they probably so have, they like have seven. seven health, yeah. Or eight. No, it has to be seven. You're right. Seven. Yeah, I guess that. 
Yeah, five on the side. Took seven. Yeah. Okay. Anything See, else you want to do? Not totally useless. Not yeah, totally the useless. Is there you go. Stop I got my fire. auto hit. <laughs> uh, okay. And that only used one spell slot, so even though you pushed the cast button a couple times, it might have pushed like the cast button there a couple of times. Make sure you've only used one of your spell slots. Uh, how do I tell that? Oh, uh, it says four. So you probably have four level one spells you can play. You've, you've cast one so far. Okay. Okay. So now all I can do is move, right? Uh, yeah, you have up to two spaces you can still move left, it's I believe. Or right three back. three spaces. We're right back here. Okay. Now it is... Uh, Stabby boys. Stabby boys. Uh, stabby boy here is going to continue attacking the person that he's been stabbing. <laughs> and he misses. Okay. You roll a two. And then this guy's going to stab Mona. He rolls a four. Or he, he doesn't roll a four. He rolls a 21, but does four damage. Mm. And I believe that is all the stabby boys. You've killed most of them. Am I am I wrong? I think that's it, because I don't think there are any hiding. All right. Mort, your turn. Uh, first thing I need to do is cure myself. So I'm going to use cure wounds. So that's your action to use cure wounds, so you won't be able to attack. So you heal five. I also don't see his health bar. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, ba -ba 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 -da -da. There you go. There you go. Did you just take five damage or did you heal five damage? No, I healed. It You're should at... be 16. There you go. There we go. Okay. okay. And then you still have a move yeah, and a bonus move. action left. Six. All right, I'm gonna move right there in between all of them. Okay. And let's see, bonus action. Self destruct. <laughs> oh no, it's a shout <laughs> to Remember, it has. So you'll do. Fine. <laughs> Sanctuary. Okay. So that is... Okay. So they have to make a wisdom saving throw or fail. Yep. I got, I got it. I got it, Mort. You don't have to keep clicking it. <laughs> I wasn't trying to do that. I was just trying to do that. <laughs> hey, did you did you see it yet? Bloop. Bloop. I, I, I see it. I see it. I got it. We get it. You claimed sanctuary. <laughs> sanctuary. <laughs> All right, uh, Esmeralda, calm down. All right. So it's uh, this goblin's turn. <laughs> this goblin doesn't like being close in combat, so he's going to try and run away. One, two, three. You get an attack of opportunity if you'd like, Mort. I do. You definitely Why hit for three damage. So I go with the first one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he's still running away. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the jogger. He, he's then going to cast a spell. Uh, his spell is. Yep, that hits, which is sleep. So he's casting sleep on you, Mort. Thank God. Uh, it, it does hit you. There's no save or anything. It's just determined by how much HP you have. So you are now asleep. Wait, well, what take... about sanctuary? Uh, what about sanctuary? I believe sanctuary only counts if it is. 
a da, 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 da. Does attack or harmful spell, so it depends on if sleep is cast, counted as a harmful spell or not. No. Yeah, specifically, it also doesn't count against area of effect spells, and sleep is an area of effect. Um, and it actually does catch this goblin out as well. Uh, so this goblin also will fall asleep. So where is sleepy time? There's sleepy time. Sleep. I think we're gonna have to call it because um, I've got to get to bed. We may have to pick this up next week. Okie dokie. Uh, so we'll remember that it was this guy's turn. He just went. So actually, Mona is up, and then uh, we will pick it up from here next time. Uh. Alrighty. Cool. Uh, Alright. Any critiques for me? Uh, don't, don't roll so good. No. <laughs> don't roll. <laughs> I can't help it. Don't roll so good. I usually like like when I'm a player. When I'm a player, I roll terribly. I roll awful. As a GM, I'm rolling super good. I don't understand. I mean, that's how it usually is. Yeah. I'm. I usually roll like two, yeah. seven, two. Four, My last campaign. We had two. Or DM's dice away because he was just rolling too good. <laughs> so we had to give him different dice. DM. All right. I, I mean, I, I think you guys are doing okay. Like, if anything, I can see that. I mean, you guys are probably going to win this. So, probably. Hopefully. Yeah. I, and I would keep going too, <laughs> but I have so much shit to you do. Just have wrong. to keep, you know, sacrifice a half thing and we'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, just don't fall That's in this right, pit anymore. <laughs> at least we all got out of it really good uh, Flip as always man fucking stellar job thank you for doing this it was a lot of fun uh, yeah. thank you thank you for helping me get into this with all the troubleshooting yeah no problem you're being able to do it online either you gotta love that good times yeah. oh yeah alright Well, oh, thanks for the games, guys. Uh, what are we doing You've next been a Sunday wonderful or... tank. Uh, yeah, next <laughs> Sunday is the plan. Next Sunday is the plan. I mean, I'm sure I'll talk to all you guys beforehand, of course. Uh, but yeah, we'll pick it up next Sunday. It's been a blast. It's been a fucking blast. Indeed. Yep. Have a good night, all. Good night. Well. Good night. So, good let's see. Tomorrow. Assuming he was talking to stream. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, I just realized uh, I never actually chose a feat out of my... I get one feat and I never chose it. Are you variant human or... I should, should be. Or are you the regular human that gets plus one to every ability? I'm variant human. Oh, yeah. You should probably choose your feat. Yeah, I should do that. I don't know much about feats, so I can't tell you which ones are good or not. I think I have an idea of what I would choose already, so it should be, oh. be fine. Uh, with with them gone, do you guys have any critiques of anything that's gone on? I mean, I'm not. I, I'm obviously not the best DM, so would, any any constructive criticism would be great, or anything you guys like to see in the next session. I think it's going fine. Yeah, doing good. All righty then. Yep, don't don't be afraid to tell me if I suck, so Oh I will. <laughs> oh no, trust me, I already talked that suck today. <laughs> okay. I landed what one hit? <laughs> I mean you've been tanking pretty well for like two That's or three true. guys, so and, you know. You know, I should, I was I wore leather because I figured like oh, you know, a traveling cleric. I really should have just saying. Yeah, I mean clerics typically wear heavier armor, but Yeah. Yeah, I mean you're doing you're doing good. Um, so if, if we kind of skipped over the part where you would gain levels or anything like that, um, uh, cryptic and uh, was there an, there was another new person? They're halfway towards level three. Um, Alcadius, you're going to hit level three as soon as you take a long rest after this. So just keep that in mind. 
Uh, you're not look. You're not going to be level three mid combat, but the next time we take a long rest, you're going to gain a level. Sounds good. All righty. Uh, other than that, I think everything's going to be done next Sunday. So, uh, I will see you guys later. All right, have a good one. That is going to call it for me as well. All right. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I think we are going back to uh, our green screen uh, speed run challenge thingamajiggy. Uh, I think we are playing doing a speed run ish of uh, Subnautica. So I'm excited about that because I love me some Subnautica. Anyways, I will hopefully see you tomorrow's. Have a good rest of your night. Laters.